Oh. Yo! Hey everyone! Oh, my hand's here. Um, hi everyone! Oh. Hello hey. everybody! Hey all you be beans and beanesses! Um, <laughs> welcome! Guys, we've, we've been on a Zoom call for all of three minutes, which means that um, we've got at least seven in-jokes that you have not heard, but we, we'll reference. In-jokes! Get them in! <laughs> me! Um, hi, we are Wiki Game. Uh, we're a TTRPG channel. I'm Lydia. Um, we've got, I can't even now remember at all who sits where, but we've got, um, raise your hand, Nikki. Raise <laughs> your hand, Michelle. Are we all here? <laughs> raise your hand, Tom. <laughs> How are we doing this? Uh, Lydia, can you turn the music down a touch? Yeah. Um, I can do that. Oh, it is so fucking lovely to be back. Uh, apologies, first first swear of 2022. First swear. <laughs> um, Tom, Tom, I don't know if you remember, about a year ago I went, yeah, now we're uploading to YouTube, we can't really swear in the first five minutes because that's where YouTube's like um, thing happens. I think, hey, you've, I think you've successfully sworn in the first five minutes of every single stream <laughs> since that conversation. Cool, cool. Future Nikki, cut that, cut that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and oh, go. Pick up. So... We are back uh, doing the Lighthouse of Aesodos. Um, and I think it's probably really important to say right off the bat, like a massive, massive, massive thank you to Josh and Alicia from Dice and the Slice podcast for stepping in like when we, first of all, like when we just desperately, desperately needed it. But also you just fucking nailed it. You just nailed it. Um, and if anyone watching now, like, miss any of those shenanigans at sea um you can watch it either on our youtube or even like go to dice and slice podcasts on any of the major uh, podcast platforms and they will be releasing them like all edited and slick and pure um and you can you can listen to it there including the super secret um like episode that wasn't done on this channel which is podcast only um where you get to find out what oh no yes. andromeda dirtically collapses hey oh no did i go you're fine you're fine it's 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 zoom away. making sure that you don't uh give away any spoilers yeah um it's it's Alicia is just somewhere uh, in this, just going up. Oh, absolutely, just docks Lydia. I apologise. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, I know, and then I remembered how small this is. So, <laughs> um, yeah, um, this is good. This is good. I've already sworn in the first five minutes, and we, love it. we absolutely love it. It's all good. <laughs> Lots of things have changed since we were last since we were last streaming this. Um, we. Lydia's in a new room, as you can tell, a room that Malloy is banned from. So there will be very few, if any, little Malloy. Um, no bits moments. for kids. Uh, me and Michelle have moved, and we're in a place. There's a sofa here now. You can't see it because of the camera, but I can sit on a sofa. Yeah. Sofa. I'm on a sofa, guys. And and okay. I'm just a substantially worse person. So no, lots no, of change. No, no, no. <laughs> But this is our very special Lighthouse um, catch-up episode. So we're going to be talking about our favourite Tomato-based <laughs> ones. Hi. From... No, no. Have... Wait. What? I don't want to get on into this on stream, but how long have we had the big bottle of tomato ketchup? I love ketchup and I didn't think we had any. Do you ever look in the cupboard? No, now is the right time. <laughs> now is absolutely really the right dig time. In. Now is the right time for this wonderful, wonderful relationship to, to crumble uh, <laughs> over ketchup. Well, I've, I've been using uh, the bougie ketchup that I bought for me, and I was wondering why you never used any of this. Oh, because I steal your bougie ketchup. Yeah, that's what happens. Okay. Um, okay. So, I think before I cut out, I was just saying that... Um, the, the, about Dice and Slice podcast and that there's a special episode where um, Andromeda um, has, um, you know, a, a fun uh, adventure where you find out what happens every time she sort of collapses. Um, moving on, a big thank you to our 
frankly, holy trinity of um, of moderators, Rooney Rooms, Sweet Poison and Atomic Flash. We love you so much. Um, Speaking of, sorry to butt in, um, I don't think she's here today because it's her birthday. Atomic Flash is her birthday today. So the happiest of bappiest. Wish, uh, wish her happy birthday. It's also Kiss a Ginger Day, so... Um... <laughs> Come in, <laughs> What was that voice? <laughs> <laughs> the just outside going. That's what I say all the time. Okay, so the the, um, the music is um, uh, tonight, and you know most most of our nights is by Ivan Birch, who makes like really incredible music for streamers. He has a Patreon now, and I do highly recommend it. It's extremely reasonable for what uh, for what you get, so um, you can look him up. Um, Michelle, how are your commissions going? What do I want to? Should you oh, know? Yeah, my absolutely. My commissions are open. <laughs> They're going really bad, Idiot. Um, she forgot how to draw. I was about to say, imagine if Michelle <laughs> went. Oh, it's so bad. I, I need to go back to work. I need to go back to full time work right now. Like, <laughs> um, definitely though. At Feline Trickster. There is commission. Tap her up. There are commission slots. And, and, I will just, because she doesn't do this herself, she's made another recent jump in the quality of her work over the past, like, couple of months, and she has a ridiculous January sale on at the moment. So if you want a commission mm -hmm. before her prices go up, because I've been bullying her to put her prices up, get in touch January. Get in touch before that uh, that jump is a fucking thirty foot vertical leap. All right. Um, thirty foot vertical leap. Yeah, it's it's incredibly affordable, especially for the quality of art. And not everything's like a uh, hundred pound plus, like full body colors. There's some really gorgeous like sketch. Um, so and you know, and for all of, yeah, I'll just about to say. That. Sorry, carry on. You, you don't apologize. Do. You're you're normally very bad about traffic. I'm really so. bad. So I'm very just bad. trying to. Get in there. Do it. Thanks. Um, <laughs> but, oh, everyone's here. Hi, Biz. Hi, hi everyone. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. We, we, so we're going to do a bit of a catch-up about what's happened? Yeah, we are. I mean, I'll just quickly say, um, be, uh, just because I'm going through my tick box, we can leave the catch-up out of it. Um, <laughs> join Michelle and I tomorrow. We're going to be get, uh, getting back into Dragon Age. We're going to be romancing the egg, uh, which is a bit like romancing the stone, but uh, wetter. No, um, that is it exactly. Just romancing the sponge. I can't. I feel like we were on the verge of doing something big. Like we were either going to just about to do the Winter Palace, or we were just about to do the uh, Adam Battle, or one of those sorts of things. But anyway, I am really looking forward to getting back into all of that. So. Yes, if you are um, joining us today and you can't quite remember what happened in the first five sessions of the Lighthouse of Acidos, do not worry. Um, we, we, we got you. We're going to go through all of that now, um, including I think it's a really good idea if we go through what happened in our session zero, just basically and broadly, because um, it truly did kind of affect, it, uh, you know, it had repercussions. Um, um, so, so, I'm going to say, buckle in, buckle in, buckle up? I don't know, buckle, buckle up, up, buckle in, yeah, let up sure you're like, if, Buckle up, cunts. A cup of tea or whatever, and we're going to go, no, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I just was going to say something about getting a cup of tea, because Lydia's going to do some great exposition stuff. Um... I'm down, I'm out. Carry on, everyone. Buckle up, fuck it in. Let's it, let us begin. Boys. <laughs> Just the dishes. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's oh, been a while, guys. I'm, I'm really sorry, but that's now another one of the memes. <laughs> along, with, along with get mum, nunchucks, and fuckle up, fuck it in. <laughs> let us begin. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, um. Oh. We're also going to be helping with the recap. It's not just Lydia, don't yeah. worry. And no, I, you've got I guarantee to, I'll be more helpful than this. Those fuckers are just actively listening for the next hour and a half while I monologue. Um, uh, we um, first met all of the characters getting on a ship um, in Arroway Haven. 
um, where they um, they well actually you kind of had a um, an hour to kill where Lydia genuinely wants to give you an hour in case you wanted to run to the shops to get provisions and instead what happened was Mav took them all to the pub. <laughs> I think it was time well spent. What yeah. wonderful move. exposition for, for Mav in, in general. Like, it's a move that Nikki as a person would do while we're about to go on a long journey. Let's get a couple of drinks in us. Yeah. Um, and um, you met with the captain of the ship, um, Captain Faraday, who was a, um, a, quite a dwarf advanced in her years. And as you set off, and it, within the first week or so, hit a storm. <clears throat> and I can't quite remember how useful you were on a boat, but I think you were basically kept away from trying to do any of the stuff because you were a fully kitted ship to start off with. No, Mav got straight in there, got, got <laughs> right, got, got <laughs> elbow deep in that. Um, and, and by that, I think you meant that you played dragon chess with anybody who wasn't, uh, anyone who was available to play with. And, and, and vomited uh, uh, profusely. Yeah. Um, I think so, I think Al probably tried, didn't he? But actually... I think what um, I ended up doing was... Um, didn't you just fish? Not during the storm. But I did fish. Oh, during the storm. I did, I did try and fish. But more importantly, during the storm, I, I netted yaps down. I think the first storm, yeah. I think. You netted him down in my bunk, so it was just me and me and uh, Jack sort of. Yes, because the way that we did the storm was every hour we rolled to see what the storm like did to the boat. And a lot of the time it was Mav and a cra and a giant crab just being rattled around in a in a one small room. I think um, he was there for Mav's safety. I feel like he was helping you stay like Grounded or something. I can't. There was a reason. Yeah. There was. There was a reason why he was in there with you. But the long and the short of it is that there was like half of the storm where you lost a lot of the people who, a lot of the seamen. <laughs> um, and uh, having been told at the beginning by the captain, like just stay in your quarters, don't get in our way. We've got a lot of work to do, and you will make this so much harder you then got a knock on your door going, I'm afraid we're going to need your help because we've just, like, everyone's dead. Um, <laughs> and um, it was a proper, like, perfect storm-style situation where lightning was hitting the boat and um, and people, what you were having to deal with, like, tidal waves and so on. And you were sort of doing all right. It was hard work um, on the... Um, wow. Wheel. I, I, wheel? Wheel. It, I think it's got a name other than wheel. Nope. But, um, it's a ship's wheel, Lydia. Uh, but oh, at helm. one point, the. Yes, yeah, the helm. At one point, the a mast got struck by lightning, broke, and landed on the first mate. And was it that, or was it a, a, a tidal wave that washed CC overboard? I think it was a tidal wave, wasn't it? Yes. I think it was both, because I, I <coughs> remember trying drastically to help lift it off of him. And I think that, I think I like got it off of him and then got washed away. Either way, you were taken off the back of the boat and pulled down uh, Michelle, and you, you know, you, you knew, you knew that you were going to get an experience where you were going to find a patron, um, but, um... Didn't think I was going to die doing it. <laughs> Did you not? I signed something, I didn't sign up for quite this. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's on me, I should have seen that coming. I mean, honestly, as soon as you start to hear me monologuing from, you know, my bright pink text, you just, you've got to know that it's shit's going down. Um, and why don't you, in fact, tell me from what you can remember, what you can recall of oh. what her experience was. Pop test. <laughs> oh, no. Um, yeah, I remember Cece um, went overboard and I remember um, there was a lot of 
um, just the, the wonderful description Lydia gave of that really crushing, terrifying feeling of um, darkness, being really dark, really cold, there being nothing around, and Cece just getting that moment of like, oh, this is it. I'm done. Um, and then I, I feel like it was like just before she gave into it or something, but like um, this beautiful being in uh, with like uh, black oily like like pearlescent like skin um, appeared um, and you know they had a wonderful little chat where um, they introduced themselves as Joltish Joltish <laughs> um, and um, fuck I've just remembered Lydia does voices yeah <laughs> You just remember Elska. Yeah, I did. Um, but Jortish, um essentially uh, said to Cece, like, uh, you know, your life isn't done. Um, you've uh, not exactly like lived in the shadows of other people, but like you've not really lived your own life. Uh, oh yeah, and there was this beautiful moment um, when Lydia described like a bunch of um, Cece's memories, like. Um, having uh, tea, afternoon tea with her father, um, uh, being like all wrapped up in the sheets with her gorgeous wife Alessandra and then having a uh, not so fun flashback of the last time Alessandra left um, with Cece begging her to stay uh, this time and just not being able to read any emotion on her face at all. Um, so then, yeah, Joel just like uh, went over, like, you gotta, look, I'm gonna give you these powers, but you gotta live your life if I give them to you. The most um, wholesome of all the um, warlock pacts is I'll give you power and in exchange, you've got to just, you know, be so happy. Go to as many bottomless brunches as possible. <laughs> I think I think that was a caveat. I think that was um, in the contract. I've got to do more brunch. This is if, more mimosas. If, if, if sloppy can. best friends were warlock patrons, yeah, you gotta leave him and you gotta come to brunch with me more. Yeah. Literally, Mav went. Mav went. Something has changed. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the drunk woman in the toilets going. You are. Stunning, and you are worth so much more than your wife. I, I genuinely you. really love that yeah. as a meeting your warlock patron in like a modern setting for the first time. Uh, yes, a, in the toilets of a club. Yeah, yes. can you imagine God that coming much. to you as a drug woman in the that's toilets? <laughs> if, it, if they were going to do it anywhere, that's the way. That's the way to do it, right? Neil Gaiman literally missed a trick there. I think it, sh it should have been in American Gods. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's 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 Medway Gods. That one. <laughs> <laughs> listen, babe. No, no. Shut up. No, no, no. Shut no, up. No, listen. You're you are so stunning. No. So stunning. I wish. I wish I had your figure and those legs. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. So that happened. Uh, CC was obviously like, yeah, because I think uh, making a pact like that is is one of those things of like at first you're like, I just want to live my life. Cool. That sounds great. Actually quite difficult to, to, to do later on. Um, and then she came shooting out of the water and landed back on the ship. Three like, point landing. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a hero now. Me. Yeah, she, she stopped being a commoner level one warlock. Yeah. Um, then and Jax helped lift the mast off in a true yeah, test I mean, of crab strength. It, it, it kind of like... You did that, and then there was definitely a moment when I was like, you still got hours and hours of storm. And you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. it was, it, we were celebrating while people were still dying around, and we were like, yeah, yeah we got the mask off. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> um, But you did eventually make it through, and, um, uh, you know, Cece's now got a kind of like, there's something different about her. Her skin shimmers a little bit with um, some of, uh, imbued with some of her patrons. It's completely washed you out. Yeah, it 
really has. I also have a ring, but you can't see it because the light is too bright. You're wearing four, but one it's, of them looks like a um, a, a starfish. So. It's amazing. Uh, Joltish gave you a ring and uh, blisteringly white skin. <laughs> 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 yeah, also, I mean, that was another thing. Um, I think it's just a small thing, but Joltish put it on um, Cece's ring finger, right? Like, where her wedding ring, like, wedding rings isn't really How many a rings thing. are you wearing right now? Oh, that's a good point. I think, yeah, it might well have done. Oh, hon, Married. you got a big storm coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, though, I would point out that wedding rings aren't a thing in yeah. this world. It's it's actually um, a binding ritual around the hand, but very good point. It's like meta symbolism, guys. Meta symbolism. Yeah. Um, so after the storm, you, there were some other things that happened, which were you came across a ship that had not done so well in the storm. They were like a bit floating in the sea and you were like gathering them up because you'd actually lost a lot of your cargo. And then you saw that's what a Matt was doing during the storm, right? Trying to tie knots to keep all of our cargo. That's right. Because that's, that's right. what Jacques was doing originally before the mast thing, was he was holding the boxes while Matt was like tying rope around them all. Not entirely useless then. <laughs> just just mainly. That was, that was Mavin, Mavin Jax's first broman. Yeah. Like it's, it's... <clears throat> Um so yeah, that so you saw some of this other ship's goods floating and there was great attempts to kind of grab them, but there was also a raft full of uh people who'd survived their their ship sinking. And I think specifically Susie, but also definitely Mav. Um we're saying we have to save these people and the the ca uh, captain faraday was actually had the attitude of we've lost a lot of people there's no way we can stick our necks out to save anyone because if we lose people if it goes wrong and we lose people we'll we'll we could all die because we're just such a skeleton staff at this point and, and we, resources were low yeah, and resources were low, so C yeah, exactly, that was it. It's like, it, we're going to starve if we bring more people on board. CC was like, absolutely fuck that. Um, and you could also see that something was, like, taking advantage of them on their raft. It was very much like we actually attempted to get both Jack and Rose on the door at the end of the Titanic, and then there was something that was, like, yanking, yanking them off the side, um, which... You managed to save two of the people from the raft. You didn't quite manage to kill the thing that was in the water. I got an arrow in it, though, didn't I? You got an arrow in it, and then it, it swam away. It. And over the following like few weeks, you had conversations with somebody on board deck who said that they had fallen in love with somebody and they very you very very nearly lost them i think it was all three of you worked together for the first time seeing this boy that was like but we're in love and it's the little it's ariel and uh, nearly stepping off board and actually it was the hag from way back uh, that had been following you this whole time and uh, you managed to like bring him back onto the ship which is a very sweet way that all the lot of you work together for the first time. Um, but And the only time. And, the, uh, and that was the <laughs> last that's one time we worked together. To be fair, you're in in this game, you are very rarely all three in the same you try yeah. so hard to have like dinners and stuff together, but it's not easy to be in the same place at the same time. Um, but you're you got a lot of high winds in the final leg of your trip to the archipelago and you went months out of the way i think it was at least two maybe three months you uh extra where you nearly sailed completely out of iridian waters um you i i had like a bunch of stuff planned and i was thinking wow man you are not even in the iridian empire anymore um but you managed to just about pull it back with skill checks and stuff like that and that was the end of that session was just seeing the sliver of the island on the horizon at like just post dawn um <clears throat> and you were i think level three at that point weren't you or two uh level three. three i believe yeah because yeah. because otherwise it would be 
uh, technically completely implausible for uh, Nikki to have a giant crab. Uh, that is the only reason it's implausible for Nikki to have a giant crab. Yeah, of course. yeah, sure. Uh, the level, the level of the character, but yeah. I I really hate the mechanic of rangers just going out to get new animals when they die. Like it's so fucked. Yeah. Like in my head. Just... So so basically, what he's saying is when uh, Jax does die, um, he will be mourning for the rest of the season. Yes. If if I, I will I will so I will stake go. this I will stake this claim. If Jack dies, I will not get a new familiar, a new companion. You heard it here first, Lydia. <laughs> I know what I need to do. Absolutely, like they, they, he has basically raised Jack to be his friend. He's like one of those awful like teen mums who like still think it's a good idea now that they're like, yeah, but now I'm 28 and I've got my best friend, and it's like a 14 year old girl, and you're like, oh hun, no no, like. That's not healthy. Um, Ray Jax to be his best friend. It's not healthy. Which is why he doesn't know whether you're his father or his friend. Yes. Um, oh. Um, oh. Um, so. I think we were level two because at level three I got the ability to uh, speak, speak to him. Yeah, I think we were two. Yeah, but I have this me. memory of like, I knew it was coming, so I prepped it from, for, from the first session, uh, I think. And. Mm. You kept going, gonna do it, and I was like, "Well, do it because I've got it. <laughs> I'm just ready." Um, but I so the first it. session, the first session uh, was misty, misty island, um, and I, I have this really great memory of as the boat is approaching, Mav just. <laughs> I mean, Tom, you you'll remember this better than me, but like going. Um, so I'm not gonna get off the. Shift. I'm just going to stay, and we can just circle around. <laughs> um, and it's just been a wonderful I, boat tour. Uh, <laughs> really, really lovely cruise. It's been a Thank great you. Great cruise. Good luck. Um, and both Mav and CC sort of realizing that Faraday is saying things like, "We are ready to fight you if you try and get back on the boat. We've got orders that we'd rather like put an arrow in your face than let you get back. You've got a job to do." Um, and you did an awful lot of trying to work out what the mist was, um, that an albatross landed on the boat before you even like alighted. Um, you were trying to work, you tried to stroke it and it would, it, it kind of ducked out of the way. Um, it was the first moment Nikki was like, Ranger, animal handling, let me roll it. Um, it's the shit. <laughs> um, you alighted onto the misty island and um you knew you had to take uh you knew you had to take the provisions to the temple island and um you knew you had to unpack and um i i reckon tom will probably be able to remember this uh quite why don't you tom to a pop quiz for you now yeah um, You're um what how do you remember that going down of like walking through that mist to the i think it was first the homestead and then to the like... first to the homestead yeah it was uh not a picnic uh i think is fair to say so yeah we uh, as we as we started walking through this mist um i think uh, the suspense uh started to grow and grow um uh, despite Elle's uh, constant, uh, I'll call it encouragement, um, for us to sort of uh, keep on going and keep on trekking. Um, we, we moved through, uh, through the mist and came to a uh, large um, stone, um, a large kind of, um, uh, I want to say place marker um, that we all, that was the first hurdle that we were all stumped on for quite some time. Uh, it just turned out to be a map of the island um uh and from it was that... such a good moment of intelligence versus wisdom where you like placed your hands on the stone you're like i'm communing with the stone and Elle was like there's actually pictures and arrows that's all you need to do <laughs> there'll be a button here somewhere i need to arcana my way through this you can literally like just, just 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 look <laughs> at it a little bit that says you are here well how does it know if it's not magic <laughs> <laughs> they know <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, good mum. Um, so we uh, from from uh, the the gleaning from from multiple different al- angles uh, of of information from this thing, we realised and ascertained that the homestead was a certain way. And as we started to near uh, the homestead, a um, we we heard the dreadful, terrifying uh, sound of something there. Um, we heard the scratch, scratching and rustling of fetid, uh, bestial claws in the mist. Um, and uh, we readied ourselves for battle. Um, and it was a chicken, but nonetheless, we were ready for battle, and that's what matters. Um, <laughs> we got to the we got to the homestead um, uh, without too much uh, fear or danger, besides the chicken. Uh, only to there find some, so there were some things that you found in the homestead that helped you there was good inve- good like brief investigations that happened there that um the first the, yeah the first thing that we found was um a uh, what appeared to be a log book um a ledger of um our time uh, not our time of the previous occupants time on the island of your um, time got off the boat yeah. oh that's the end of it <laughs> You are here. How do they know? Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, what we also found, uh, and, uh, and Mav very quickly started reading through the ledger. What we also found, uh, or what L also found, was uh, smears and droplets of blood scattered throughout the homestead, um, which was fun. Um, at that point, we we started to kind of get worried, funnily enough. Um, and I think that was the moment that um, a pulse of purple light uh, emanated from uh, somewhere in the mist. Um, a... I don't think it was quite yet because you had you got a bit nearer. You did that big walk. Lydia, let me have my dramatic moment, okay? <laughs> No, you tell it. You tell it. I failed the pop yeah, quiz. I you have it. so much space where you are now. It's re- the, the the difference is ridiculous. <laughs> um, you, <clears throat> yeah, you 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 read what was in the logbook, which gave you some, uh, some like concepts that that, um, you know that they, they might have some issues. The people, uh, the people were on edge anyway. They were starting to go a bit mad. But then they were being preyed upon by uh, by people, um, and so you made your way to you. You started follow, following blood stains, um, essentially, which took you all the way across the island. You found some bodies. You found uh, an aracocra that was squishy. You found a little goblin. Um, who oh, I'm going to get this wrong, but there were different injuries on um, of I mean, an elf, one... a, um, a goblin, and an aracocra. You went through, you got to the lighthouse, which of course, you know, it was sort of a shame in a way because you were being robbed of your first experience of the island because you couldn't see it. It was just, um, it, it was just missed. But it was once you got near the island that suddenly that that pink pulsing happened. Um. And you, you, as you approach, you heard fighting already happening, and you were confronted by pirates killing the previous lighthouse keepers. And though you fought really well, you didn't manage to save any of the old residents. Which felt you great. Did. Yeah. Felt great. <laughs> but you, what Honestly, you did manage to do. Me. <laughs> was kill everybody, which is thorough. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, and actually, I feel like this was one of Mav's really heroic moments because mid-fight, Mav decides to run to the top of the lighthouse to see what's going on there, and he runs straight past the most powerful of the pirates who attacks him as a, a opportunity attack, and he puts up shield, and it's this thing of like not today bitch and sprint start sprinting out the thing it was like a real uh a real like heroic moment for him well i don't mean to go on about it but do go on <laughs> <laughs> that, that's uh, a heroic moment is i mean i know that the content's done this but casting shield yeah <laughs> it, that, that feels feels very appropriate for a wizard 
getting in, get running right by the most powerful person is actually a wizard. Yeah, that is heroic. Yeah, um, Nikki. <laughs> um, but the two people who are fighting on top of the lighthouse, both one got pushed off the edge, and the other there was like an explosion, and they got blasted out of the edge, off the edge of it, and fell 150 feet and died. But Mav being at the top, once everyone was dead, was like working stuff out and saw claw marks along the side of the things. The the runes that create the light had been sabotaged. Um, and you spent a lot of time like trying to work out what to do. And you found a manual, didn't you? And you were like, what you know, we have to get it lit again. Because you there was a moment, wasn't there, that you had where there was like a dragonborn that had been a dragonborn on the island, the lighthouse keeper, who just looked up and said to you for shame the light what did they say i think i wrote it down i think they said um if if the lighthouse goes out we're all doomed i think was was a yeah they said uh the shame the light went out you're all doomed uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh what, a, what a insane understatement to like like the oh a shame you're all doomed. I was like, it's just shame. fucking bonkers bookends to us. Sort of no, it was the shame, like the shame of it that it happened on their watch, not like what a shame. Oh, okay, oh. okay. That makes it's just, sense. It's just, it's just Paul Ritter going shit on it. <laughs> uh, like... um, uh, but yeah, you you found a book that like you found extremely difficult to decipher, but you managed a bit of patch job. And another great moment, what I think one of Elle's first like proper character moments came when you were all trying to pump as much magic into the stone as possible to jumpstart it. And for once, Nikki was the only one that actually rolled quite low. And it RP'd out that he just like wasn't really paying attention and was just like looking out into the water. And Mav was like, can you just like do this? Um, and you got the lighthouse going again. Um, Cece had quite a lot, like had a full blown panic attack, um, and just wanted to go home. Yep, I made a mistake um, running away from my very wealthy, very famous wife. Very strong, <laughs> powerful. To here, wife, politically and physically. Yes, it may have been an error. <laughs> yeah, it, so it was funny, wasn't it? Because you kind of you crossed over with Mav. And Mav was like, "I'm not going. I'm not even setting, setting foot on the island." And once he did, there was something that like locked in for him. There was a kind of um, well, fuck it, I'm here now. I think uh, Mav got that. Like the lighthouse suddenly became like a fun. It's a project. A yeah. Project for yeah. Mav, and, and like you could read all these books. You really get into it. L and Jack I've I've just, read like, I've read this home. Dan Brown book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then and Cece was just like, well, I don't belong here, really. I think I should go home. Um, yeah, that's that's a really good point, actually. It was like uh, a, the sort of intellectual curiosity came out in Mav, and Elle felt very at home. Cece was like... Elle was having a fucking great time. Yeah. Like, days one through seven was just fucking chilling. Like, yeah. It's just like, I'm on the beach. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. Isn't um, me at all. Session two. Yeah, because that's when it that's when it ended with us frantically trying well, Mav frantically trying to fix it, um and get the light back on because we know the light can't go out. And I think didn't it am I right in saying the lighthouse did go out for like a second? Briefly. Yeah. So, like, yes. Mm. So the, the the lighthouse was um on the fritz. That's why the that's why the flashing was happening i don't think it fully went out um but uh, it, it did, was it did fully go oh, out because that yeah. was the explosion that pushed someone off the edge of the thing that oh, was shit. going out i think because that's why you ran that's up, why you're so fucking doomed um yeah. uh so yeah kind of i think you 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 did that thing which got it going again and you may have even oh no i think this is the next thing because you hadn't even like shared a dinner together yet but session two st opened with some um, what we've all come to truly love, which is Elrond's philosophy on everything. Um, just about, I think it was like, he talked a lot previously about locals and that nowhere is really empty. There's always gonna be like locals somewhere. Um, Profound, didn't mean shit. <laughs> 
Yes. Um, Elle's philosophy is like the shit your stone friend says that it only really makes sense if you're as stoned as them. Like, yeah. Yeah, this this philosophy I think that you were you you were hitting Cece with, which I think was really compounding her terror, was <laughs> about how you know the world truly continues to decay and renew even without like civilization observing it like which is very true to l which is like that thing of people saying if a tree falls in the woods does it you know and no one can hear it does it really Rain. happen yeah um <laughs> and l sort of uh is uh, was on the it, everything happens um when everything it happens, happens and <laughs> there are a million things that perceive that tree falling and a million yeah. things that live off of that tree falling so they it's they... truly the arrogance of like um mortals i guess or but it's a very human arrogance that says without our observation that thing doesn't happen um but i think maybe my, my favorite part of session two was cc it's the island hitting cc so fucking hard in, in session two because i mean michelle you don't roll it well at the best of times do you but this I was don't. fucking brutal it oh was, my God. So it was just Two hours of you trying to find a valet on the island, like. <laughs> <laughs> can someone come and take my bag? Yeah, cause, um, come session two, we'd like calm down. You, we'd worked out that someone has to stay at the lighthouse or like be near at all times. Matthew, like, I'm gonna stay, read the manual, work that out. Um, L, you and Jack, were, like, we're gonna go get the rest of the stuff off the boat. And I assume, I think you let Faraday know, like, everyone's dead, you can go. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and because we knew there was someone else on the island that we had to deliver, take some deliveries to as well, um, I, Cecil was like, right, I'll do that. I'm a good people person. That will be my job. Um, and she lives um, on a set, on a like another island. Next it's, to the it. whole thing is like an like archipelago. Yeah, like archipelago. That thing. Perfect. Um, Nailed it. And um, Cece, bless her, is like a has great like charisma and that sort of stuff but anything like else she's not great and i rolled so badly so i think she's cc spent the whole day rowing like against the current to this other island like nearly losing the boat trying to carry all these crates to this um, At one point, when you trying to house. dig a moat because you were trying to stop the, to get the boat onto land, instead of just yeah. pulling it, you were like trying to dig sand or something. It was what I loved about it was it truly showed that like CC is all pluck and like less in the um, how do I put it politely? Like say it, <laughs> just say it. Be brutal. Um. Oh, she's not she, she hasn't got that really good like um survival rational thinking like she's not yeah. fair grill but no. uh, but she is determined she, she doesn't do she positive. doesn't know the no you know what i mean yeah. like yeah but she she knew she's so very focused on her job um and the thing that was in front of her which is i can't drag the boat the boat's got stuff on it like it was it the whole thing felt like a torturous, torturous in the sense that you got poisoned and hurt and were knackered and your arms and then hurt. And I get there hurt. and this old woman makes me dirty and says yep. drink it and Cece's far too polite to say no. Yeah. yeah. I always like this may be like a thing, this may be actually something really good like. Yeah. Dirty. Yeah. Just dirty. 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 She, not only that, I think you're glossing over, maybe it's because you've blocked it out. She, um as soon as she met you she came up to came up to you and just put her fingers all over your face and into your mouth right and um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I both love and hate this woman so much she's just the worst <laughs> we were talking the other day about my absolute love for um Old old women that set your teeth teeth on edge. Yeah. I'm just so excited for the third in the Holy Trinity, yeah. like <laughs> the unholy Trinity of uh, Elska, Lydia, Marla, and whoever. Whoever it will be in the next one. Oh, God. oh boy. Um, Mav was trying to. Mav was at the lighthouse, like reading, reading, reading. Um, what he just what what you discovered was that you detected. 
and read about all schools of magic. Mm. So not just all schools of wizard magic, but like uh, shadow magic, um, uh, celestial magic, uh, all kinds of stuff. None of it made sense to you on like such a grand like scale. Yeah. And the flow of magic seems to sort of go in all directions. It isn't, it's not just like, uh, it's not like um, a barrier that protects the island. There is a flow that comes out of, you would imagine that there's a flow that comes out of the lighthouse because it's light that sh shines, but there's also a flow that goes into the island okay. as well. And and the, the 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 pink flashing stuff was a fail safe that people mm. that that actually uh, other lighthouse keepers had put in place, which is great because it meant that you didn't have you didn't have to be constantly manning the lighthouse. You could just be nearby. Mm. Um. And this was the first time that Mav uh, conjured silent image, I believe. Yes, it was. Yeah. And you kind of played imaginary chess with an image that of this dark skinned, beautiful woman with like uh, uh, gold running through her skin, um, who just smiled pleasantly at you a lot. Um, Makes it sound a lot sadder than it felt at the time, saying. I mean, no, it, it, it sounded pretty sad, sad at the oh, time. We all, we all felt it, yeah. You played imaginary chess with a figment of your imagination <laughs> yeah yeah that's exactly how it came across Tom. um it, it came across really sad don't worry yeah it's, it's incredibly <laughs> sad it's not dissimilar to the timers do you remember the game mastermind like the board game you are the second person in two days that has t spoken about mastermind and i've never known about so it. it's, it's a bit Sorry. it's similar to wordle but with pegs and colors cool and okay. you have like a number of things no one would play it with me when i was a child so what i did was i <laughs> I set the thing and then I used to run around um, the caravan park we were in and then spin around in a circle and then hit my head against the tree and then go and try and get, get some really balls. and then I would check it but because I had to check it every time to see how right or wrong I was I had to run around the caravan and then spin around the circle and hit my head against the tree every time I made a guess playing Mastermind by myself Hey Nikki, you said that my thing was as sad as that? Yeah, I'm quite surprised because you could have just asked that little drowned boy, that ghost that followed you around to play no, with you. Did he not even time. want to play with you? No, he, he was gone. He moved on. Yeah. Anyway. anyway. <laughs> um, so that truly tragic image was, was happening. And also and L. In the mean, in the meantime, L was in a kind of Disney montage of like <laughs> carrying all the bags with, with yeah. the jacks, like living his best life. Um, uh, a sort of you didn't even want you had a thing where you really weren't like going into the house and like unpacking or anything, um, but you were enjoying the beach, having a little paddle in we the water. We also picked up all the chickens that got out of the pen, and you cast speak with animals for the first time. Yeah. Um, and realize that your friend that you've had for so many decades um, just loves you so much and was um, just has all these like memories stored up that he wants to talk to you about every single memory that he has uh, uh, he wants to talk, to you, about talk it. to you about what he wants to do is go do you remember this <laughs> yeah do you remember yeah. this it's, yeah. He has uh, so much love and memories and so little intelligence. Yeah. Yes. And he's adorable. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can I pet the cuttlefish? Uh... <laughs> um, and so you went fishing with him and you caught just an app. You caught like 10 people's worth of fish. We and fucking feasted that night. You feasted, yeah. We did. Um, uh, Cece, you, you you absolutely slogged it out backwards and forwards because Elska wouldn't obviously wouldn't help at all with the boxes. You did that, and she did reward you at the end with a very incredible cup of delicious tasting peachy, fragrant, ice cold water at the end, which was a real treat. And then she laughed at you for having drunk her dirty. Um, utter bitch. <laughs> utter bitch. 
um, but you you came back and you were sort of like emotional from the day the terrible day that you'd had and so dinner at the lighthouse you were um you had this lovely moment with Mav where he like did your makeup and recognized who you were and um you talked a little bit about how Mav has actually written a book a romance novel about you but of course it was made up it was it was a fictional adaptation of Cece's story which was being the diamond of the debutante season and being a nobody who managed to who who won the who managed to marry the the most eligible I want to say not even bachelorette because she you're the person that you married wasn't really on the market she was like I'm not marrying oh this one I will though because she's cool yeah um, I want around <laughs> and so there's a I think it's a vision in fuchsia is the book that is like knocking around the world that is um a story about a romance story about cc that kind of spicy but um Very you know spicy. i think didn't you say cc that you uh that you you have read it but you don't keep it or you haven't read it because or oh you've no got it's it. cc cc has it she's a um, no but cc brought it cc has it she bought it um it's like she doesn't read it that often but it's like a I think the thing we said was it's so... <laughs> Look, all of your other books are fabulous, okay? Um, she does love it, but it's like one of those things of it's so far from the the truth. Because you know the yeah. truth. Because she, yeah. that it's like, she can read it and it not be her kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so she does she does have it and she does like it. It's But it's more like, she would never say it to Mav, but it's more like, it's so funny that he thinks this is how that went down. Or like, it's, it's, it's like how the Queen watches the crown. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. yes. I don't there think she's watching much these days. You heard it here first, folks. Like a dark from a, come from through a the digital window. marketing manager <laughs> from Norwich. <laughs> um, there was a really nice moment in that. It was sort of heartbreaking from Cece when she was like, what what if you know how did your book end and mab was like well you lived happily ever after and she said well it was some i can't remember the exact wording but it was something along the lines of but what if there's a what if the ending was just they weren't as in love as they thought they were or it wasn't happy in the end and it was just like fuck fuck I thought it was yeah. like what happens after happy. i think yeah. it was it was that it was what happens after the happy ending that they lived happily ever after because obviously yeah. this is this is something that happened like uh i can't i can't remember but i want to say like 10 15 years ago so mm. um yeah there was just that like real moment and then i think mav just was like all right i'm just gonna do your makeup and we're gonna you can't keep putting this fucking winged eyeliner on and then you cry again yeah, just stop yeah. It. Oh, um, this time um l was roasting fish over a campfire yeah <laughs> yeah and you were all trying to ignore the dead bodies just piled up yeah I think that's what Elle was doing. Actually, I think it did. No, I kicked them all into the sea. No, you buried them the After next day. After you did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They, I, I pushed um, the bad people into the sea. And you buried them. Yeah. yeah. Um, so th just wrapping up session two, you came back and found a message on the, uh, you know, not, not like you found a message on the wall, but there is writing on the full one wall of the dwelling which is like a kind of letter to everybody that arrives which is like welcome you are the you are the best of you are the finest of Iridia to come to this very special place because of your unbelievable arcane skill you know do try and share the jobs out between all 24 of you because I remember this moment of you saying it like a few times and Michelle going no 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 what say that last <laughs> That bit again. 24. Oh. There's going to be 24 of us. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that night, Mav had his first prophetic, not prophetic, actually, but like um, bad dream. Listen, I, 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 I washed my own covers. Uh, you know, I, I made sure that nobody could see. Uh, yes. <laughs> first um, where the green dragon ball brawn, I do that all the time wow i've got back into that thing of like why do i drink fizzy drinks no it's an idiot why do you fucking chug it in between breaths chug chug <laughs> chug chug, <laughs> chug. <laughs> the, the kid thing of going <laughs> 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 
oh, because I'm mentally ill. Um, and <laughs> you, <laughs> you, uh, you had a dream that that dragonborn um, that you that gave you the last words of your all doomed um, was actually somebody that you knew from your past who looked at you and I think said, did you think that you could run from your shame? Um, and I saw Tom's face go completely fucking green at that point. Um, and you woke up and you could, wait, was this what happened then? Yeah. You woke up, went to the shoreline, but you, you couldn't do anything. I was just monologuing still. You found a book. It was one of your books that you've written, but it was credited to Zilly Krolos, not you. And then you woke up. It was a dream within a dream, guys. Uh, a dream within a dream. Oh, plot twist. The tropes. Um, but when you finally really did wake up and I was like, what do you do? Oh, you could hear things outside. Um, and you used your last spell slot to feather fall out of the window only to discover there were so many beasts coming out of the sea and and L was at the lighthouse so he couldn't help and CC was fast asleep. So Honestly, like one of the moments that encapsulates Mav the most uh, was that is going, mm, look how good I look and then looking out and going, well, shit. Uh, like it's- Now I die. Yeah. Um, Mav I can do one thing and it's make an entrance and then yeah. that's sort of it. Just yeah. Not exit. <laughs> Mav has, Mav has spent his years perfecting his first impressions, and that's all he can do. It is unsustainable <laughs> immediately after. Yeah. When you meet Mav at a party, you meet him once and you never see him again because he, he goes to the whole party, he has an incredible first impression of everyone, and then goes. Okay, I'm done. Irish I'm done. I'm done. You know me now. <laughs> yeah. um, session three Big Fight. Mav does, um, actually he does a good job, all things considered, but it's not enough, he goes down. Um, Cece finally wakes up and um, <clears throat> does her best to um, get there, but it was it was a long time, like, because you were like, I'm not jumping out of the window. So it took you a long time to like get there. Um, uh, Elle was also being attacked on the lighthouse. We had far um, less trouble though. <laughs> Honest trouble. That was when I truly realised um, that I needed to up my the levels of my foes that I was throwing at you because uh, you Jack, know you yeah. and you and Jax were just like swatting them like flies. Um, it's just arrows from range, and then Jax can just pick them up because Jax he picked up two and threw them off the cliff, didn't he? Yeah. 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 Um, but you met Shay for the first time, the Triton uh, uh, monk Shay who was like fighting in the shallows of the water while you guys were on the shore and managed and brought Mav back, gave some healing um, to Mav. Um, <clears throat> and once the fight was over, Cece and Shay spent hours like okay. getting rid of, because essentially the, the, the archipelagos was attacked from all sides. Um, and Shay, uh, you know, you all kind of mess up afterwards and Shay explains that he didn't even know, like he's on this kind of like, gap here. Gap yard. Gap yard. Gap yard. I thought it was um, more like a, a Amish like rumspringer rather than A little bit, like... yeah, you kind of, you go, they have a philosophy of, um, of helping and receiving help and the importance of like giving yourself over to other people and um, and the, the importance and the fulfillment that's involved in that. Cause Elle, Elle was like really interested and in, like, what is your philosophy? And then he started talking and I just saw your face like, uh, I, people shouldn't have to just give themselves to other people. Elle didn't like it at all, but um, uh, he said that he didn't know about the islands at all. He knew the waters quite well and had never come across the the, the islands. And um, oh, Cece, you gave Shay one of Mav's books. I did, and it, like it sounds like I gave away one of Mav's books, but it was Cece's book written by Mav. Cece yeah. has a collection of Mav's books, and if you haven't worked out by now. Um, Mav writes these great romance slash smutty 
novel. It's like pop. it's like Mills and Boone, right? Is that it? Super like Mills and Boone. Yeah. Um, it's and probably Cece's also very it. much like the book series that Tom and I are reading at the yeah. moment. I've got Court Crap. <laughs> like there's a lot of smart in that as well as just, just holy Sarah Maz. Maz. <laughs> yeah. Maz. Um, but it wasn't waterproof, so he could only read it like on the island, which he does. He has been reading it. Um, but, but it was downtime episode, so. Um, and we didn't we just get down like? We did. Um, Cece learned how to deep sea dive. Farewell. She's away. <laughs> I'm, I'm She's I'm doing sorry. it right now. I'm deep sea diving. Yeah, she started diving. Um, oh, this is the first time that, uh, people in chat have seen Art of Shay. Oh, put it back, put it back. Put it back, put it back. Oh, is that what's happening? Okay. Keep talking, though. Keep, you, you can keep talking. Maybe. I keep talking, I keep talking, I keep talking. Um, you learn, uh, we also, you started getting piles. You started getting pearls that were just in your hand every time you woke up. Pearls. Yeah. Lydia, you did just said piles. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, CC got piles. Um, there's no ointment for that. You just got to suffer for it. Um, uh, yeah, you have 22 pearls to date. Yeah. Um, and I can't remember what else happened in your. There was a lot of farming and foraging. You were like um, really getting to it. Everyone was yeah. really getting to it. Yeah. L, though, had his first. Uh, uh, dandelion man uh, encounter. Well, so, L, L, so during the, everyone, the downtime and everyone was learning skills, L did none of that. No. L yeah. used his skill learning time to hang out on the beach. Yeah. And then he started helping with the farming a bit, but mostly the kind of like there's like a forest, like a woods uh, off to the, off the side of the farm, and he was like cultivating that. Like he picked up all the apples. Um, Lydia. That wasn't off. That wasn't off frame, and it honestly just looked like you went. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was trying to get away from the microphone. Oh okay. right, but yeah. So he so then he put all of the barrels in an apple. Uh, fuck it. He put all the barrels in an apple. Yep. All the barrels went straight in an apple. <laughs> he put all, all the apples up. in a barrel, then hid the barrel <laughs> inside the trunk of a large tree, uh, because we established at the pub that L doesn't drink alcohol. Um, but he thought Mav would like it. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, so... Nikki, I don't think you've ever made um, a d, d character that drinks. Yeah, you do that a lot. All for well, very different reasons, and I don't know why. Yeah. They, like, they, they do say play something foreign to you. Uh, <laughs> like, it's... Next character is going to hit the booze hard. It's going to be a fucking lush. He's going to get absolutely wankered on Scrumpy. To be fair... <laughs> I'm sorry, knowing <laughs> knowing the new character, I'm so ready for that. Yeah, absolutely fit. <laughs> but yeah, you, you purposefully didn't learn a skill, um, but you did make some halfling cider, which ended up being really strong. And but you you, gave you're supposed to water that stuff down, it's fine. It's grog. That is de yeah, cider it's is famously cordial. Um, <laughs> <laughs> What we have right now is not cider; it's Calvados. It's yeah. like it's all like apple brandy. It's like uh, it's like fucking um, alcoholic molasses. Like it's like yeah, fucking yeah. thick. Ooh, man, but we've, 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 we've can you imagine putting that on a, like a dessert, like a brandy, like a brandy butter or something? Ooh. So we've spoken a lot about the the alcohol that you've made, but not about the uh, fairly sort of uh, like psyche changing event yeah. that happened right, yeah. to you. Uh, basically, <laughs> I wanted to say that stuff because it sounds like, because it's very important to do the recap of important shit. In his downtime and all that stuff, L has just been relaxing and yeah. that is very true to character but that stuff doesn't come up really naturally on a, on a recap. Yeah. You can't be yeah. like and L was chilling. Yeah. But he is like just a super relaxed dude. Up until this point, he was having he's, a great time. He is destructively relaxed i would say yeah um, destructively yeah. relaxed that's quite a good way of putting yeah. it um but yeah so then he went to the other island there was a temp there was a forest there so he just wanted to see what was going on wasn't there a shrine he called? didn't know there was a shrine oh, okay there. but there's a there was a woods there and he wanted to go and see what it was about so him and jacks went over and then he found a shrine to Anne, 
who is uh, the Swift Maiden. Is her kind of like a uh, nom de plume, I think. That's I think that's the right word. Um, and yeah, that she she's the goddess of the hunt, um, and it's all about like a swift and good hunt and maintaining woods and 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 the kind of like the um, brotherhood in a less gendered way of of the hunters. Um, so you will often see small shrines in woods where people leave uh, arrows or arrow parts, like like flint heads or like uh, feathers, so that hunters who are like sure or like so maybe even like bowstrings, if you're really fucking lucky. And it's it's very often that like it's, it's sort of said that the hunt is like this big thing that's forever going on, and then like it's almost when you exactly need it, you'll see something in the ab shrine and go. Oh fuck! My bow, my mm. bow is uh, snapped. Like the string snapped, and like oh like fuck. Then you'll come across a shrine, and it'll have a string, and you can finish the hunt. And it's like Ab has provided that meal, but it's it's all of the hunters kind of giving that very kind of yeah. Yeah, there there is. I'm gonna just bring up just quickly now because we're on the subject of the um, goddess that you primarily worship. Is one of her central tenets is. It's about the good hunt. So it's about um, you honor her by shooting an arrow straight into the into a, a part of the body that will be a quick death that isn't painful, that isn't drawn out, that is as clean and elegant and beautiful. That is how you worship her is by a lack of suffering and swiftness, um, which will be interesting when we kind of get to what where we're kind of hit coming back into it yeah. um but yeah you you encountered a well, person I, th is this the time where i saw the little fucking wooden whittled figure you saw that after after because you after. you saw you saw somebody kneeling at a shrine like uh where the beach hits the wood and there was somebody there who came sprinting towards i didn't know it was an ab shrine yet yeah yeah, yeah um who sprinted towards you saying i fucking see you I fucking see you this time and plunged a sword into your torso, put his foot against your body, pulled it out and was going to go in for a second when he exploded into like dandelion seeds and was gone. And as he's disappearing, you saw him mouthing the words, no, I see you. Um, and weird, I mean, it was not weird for Elle because Elle is peculiar but like a blood just gushing from him and there was very much a like let's see what the shrine's all about <laughs> yeah I, and i think that is but i because we you know rangers and i think l has a pretty good like immediate danger sense yeah just sort of as like a passive thing yeah. um and i think that gone he goes oh, okay right that happened yeah. let's move on like case there are um very Baloo in Jungle Book is, is, is RL. Yeah. Um, you, you went to the shrine, you saw that somebody had carved a um, a crab out of wood, um, but you leave it there for the time being. Yeah, um, but I also noted that, because I remember asking, there's no other like giant crabs about. I mean, no, there's, you, you haven't encountered any yeah. any giant crabs, yeah. Um, Mav gets wow my handwriting <laughs> so Mav um, has been using his downtime to largely kind of look after the, the alcohol uh, vinegars um, the sort of brewing process as well as um, uh, making sure that he's sort of around the the lighthouse as much as possible um you also to, uh, found a book a book floated towards you you picked it up it was the book power power word love yeah uh, by zilly krolos and you set fire to it yes, and I even did. though it was a damp damp ass book dank uh, ass book you, it went up um a lot of water sports in well, just for our reference, we, so the audience and ourselves, I'm right in saying that Power Word Love is a book that Mav wrote, or like it's been published yes. as like yes. one of Mav's yes. books. 
so how would love one. so this is the second time that he has either in his real life or in his sleeping life come across a book that he wrote that actually instead where it should say you know by maverick spells it says by zilly krolos yeah krolos um, um which is why that. he set it alight <laughs> 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 Yes. Um, so we're, we're, we're dipping into session four now. We're almost uh, there, guys, I promise. Yeah, so we only need five sessions. We're giving which, you a good Which idea. absolutely blows my mind. It yeah. was only five sessions. Um, yeah, you've got 22 pearls. Um, yeah, because so basically, I've been like, it started where Cece was like waking up with one a day. Like every day she'd awake and there'd be a pearl in her hand and she had no idea what it meant. Um, I'm seeing that my notes see if I can help. I think oh, this is that... where you got you had a you on your deep sea diving you've got some salt and then you um you came across a sauhugin and a I shark. Did. Yeah. The first of the terrible slimy bitches uh, came for you. And you actually did really well. I mean, you fought really, considering it was so insanely imbalanced, it was, you know, uh, a Saugin priestess and a coral shark. And you got away, you know, and the, the you were um, bleeding and like cut up. Um, yeah. But but really, you know, the, the worst damage happened to your bathing suit. Um, My poor bathing suit, which I think <laughs> Mavis, Mavis said he's making me a new bathing suit out of a hessian sack which Yikes. is gonna be awful terrible chafing the chafing will be dreadful um uh l gets another encounter i think yeah so uh, l goes to row over to the island again to see what's going on and that person mm -hmm. or a person very similar to them because they have dark long long dark brown hair they're elven and they're in sort of like fighter hunter ranger guard like somewhere in that kind of elven fighter ranger garb and they start pinging off bow uh, arrows yeah um, which were Bl super... managed to blind jack um... yeah so which made me think there was a kind of arcane archer so the magical arrows but the really thing yeah jack nearly died at one point um the really really interesting thing was that the arrows they were using were arrows that were made by Elves' mothers, who are like famous elven um, fletchers, and it takes them like a week to make an arrow because they yeah, are like that are proper insanely arse, yeah. perfect. Um, well, I, there was a really cute moment that we sort of never really talked about, but rewatching it, I saw that was it really dawning on L that it had been three hundred years since he'd seen his mum. And that he had not, it had not occurred to him really that he'd spent, like, it's that thing of like, oh, when was the last time I called my parents? Oh, it's Christmas. Oh, it's September now. I forgot to call my parents. Um, and Cece was quite shocked by that. She was like, people have lived and died in that, like, many times over in that time. Like, Cece was quite shocked by that realization. Because elves, like, how old? Like, four, five hundred? Uh, yeah, probably 400, I think, was what I've got in, in yeah, my notes. Like, yeah. 400 plus. Like, he's a, he's a old boy. Com yeah. Compared to these guys. Compared to us, yeah. 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 Um, w one of the thing, one of the great things that Mav did uh, on his downtime, other than making Mead and Picross and Roddy and, and Perry and all of that kind of stuff, was he put a crab in a lighthouse on the, on the floating oh, yeah. disc. Just, like, legs hanging off the side. But, um, you know, was... he did the... He did the um, Acidosian version of cradling a pig and gently letting him see the stars. I, I couldn't quite decide whether it was um, really, really sweet or just full on animal cruelty. Uh, <laughs> a bit of both, was, which is what we like Jury's about still out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think there's sort of like an open invite if people are on, when people start being on edge, that uh, Jax would go to the lighthouse with them if, like, if, because uh, this yeah. is when Elle and Cece were doing a lot of the farming. Yes, we were like, we're doing our thing. Jax can't really help in this situation. Although he does so, sometimes. He does, he does definitely help a lot. He he does his, he pulls his weight, that crab. And he's heavy. Yeah. He ain't heavy. 
I think that Mav had a yeah, Mav had a dream that where he first it was his first proper prophetic dream because he became his bird, which this is like the deep lore. But when you're a divination wizard, if you're an oracle and you have dreams about um about what's about important divination shit, you become a different bird. And Mav's bird is like a sunbird that's like red with a a, like thin bill and you went flying around the island and you saw yourself being on the top of the lighthouse being attacked by a Salgeen and you were saved before you were ripped from the edge of the lighthouse from by a kind of white and grey hand that came out from the middle of the lighthouse and pulled you back in um yeah there was was I'm trying to think that was fun trying to think if there are any important details to that but I think I think we've been over it but you wake up, you're having this conversation with Shay, who's come, who's sort of in the house. I can't remember for what reason. I think he was going to help you guys with, with something. And CC comes down and you're about to, you're about, you're going to do identify on some weapons that you've got. And you use one of CC's pearls. Um, and CC gets a message. The first pearl says, um, I'm not going to do it how I did it the first time. Um, because of conversations that we've had but it said help me they're not here yet but they will be soon so then you use another pearl on the next identify and it says they have me they have me help Uh, (laughs) so um, Shay kind of does this explanation that when he and his sister were like traveling around they frequently came to a spot where they would simply change direction and they never really understood why. And then when um, when you guys arrived on the island, they realized that there was had been a barrier around the island that deters people from, from coming in, makes people forget that they were even deterred. And that when the um, they remembered that they'd been deterred when the when the lighthouse came down, when the lighthouse like went went blinked out for a second and that now there are a lot of people swarming in to the island underwater by people Sahagin. Session five. Um, Mav gets another dream, dream upon dream upon dream upon dream. This time he dreams of a muscly fish man. (laughs) (laughs) Don't we all, every now and then. Don't we all. A muscly fish fish man man who is crafting with flesh and puts a, a, a black uh, skin mask over his quills and looks directly at Mav's uh, bird, divination bird. Whilst, whilst feeling something large and oppressive behind me um, in the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia's face and I was suddenly like, wait, I remember that. I was, I was just, hit the, wet, hit the phrasing was insanely oh. saucy. Um, Something large and oppressive pressed <laughs> pressed into my bird like bones. Uh yes. <clears throat> um you went it was stealth mission. Session five was all mission. All mission. Yeah. Well, you forget. I'm sorry. Episode four. L killed a shark with his bare hand in a single round. <laughs> Actually, that is that is extremely true. Yeah. Um, it, it was one of Nikki's big fuck yous to me. I felt I felt it so personally. Um, he's like, I want to fight a shark, and I was like, all right, I'll just quickly get up really some does. shark stats, shall I? Uh, I hit it for like forty damage, and, and and you look right at me and kind of go, how many HP does a shark have, Lydia? And I went, twenty-two. You've done it in one. Well done. Um. Uh, but yes, possession five, you meet Shay's sister, she casts, very importantly, alter self on Cece, so Cece can cast spells underwater, and um, she, uh, Shay's sister, who is a delight. Ah. She, Shay, Shay's sister is, you know what, I actually really like her, I've got a lot of time for her, because she does not have time for us. She is yeah. fully like, Shay, you're my brother and I love you. I don't get why we're hanging out with these people. This all seems dangerous and crazy. Can we just why carry we just on yeah. with what yeah. we're doing? 
Um, you find them very charming. I don't actually. Yeah. Um, uh, and Cece is very much like, this is a nut I am going to crack. You will love me <laughs> by the end of, you know, our time but together. There was a there by was the end of our time. That, that she crossed, which I thought was quite good, which is um, the Mav tried to make friends with her by like handing his like flask to her and she gave a kind of little um uh, pouch of gross wine to you and she drank from yours and then just kept your flask and you were like hi that's gone Cece was like um you've got something of my friend uh and she like yeah it was, <laughs> it was mad going, it's fine it's actually fine don't worry about it all... no it's because uh, she went no he gave it to me and then Cece went to say them back, and Mav was like, no, no, it's fine. Honestly, I did. I did give it to her. <laughs> and it was just like, oh, Mav. Yeah. Oh, very good. Um, but yes, with, every, with like preparations done, you went down into the place where Cece had been attacked, and you found the woman, who, the, the, the priestess Salgin that attacked Cece a few days previously, like hanging from the wall dead with a plaque hanging around her in something that you don't understand. And a, a mural on the wall, which um, uh, was all telling a story of how they came to worship at the island and that they, they didn't even know existed and then the island just appeared and they were all coming to worship something on the island and to create more uh, sea spawn here and we were con i confused you because i called it spawn so you thought they were eggs but actually um sea spawn aren't made from like birthing they're made by corrupting the bodies of things that are already dead like tritons and stuff like that so um Still and that you know you're just sort of investigating around there's jacks there there's cc there there's shay there and then shay just comes like swimming out going oh my god there's hundreds of them behind me we've got to run and then there's a chase and then there's a fight um where um you all do pretty well and you manage to do non-lethal damage as the final blow to somebody so you have an unconscious salhagin that you are now you've uh you've dragged back to the you dragged back to the oh my god words Lydia, homestead. To the homestead island and you dug a trench filled it with water to put him in to try and get some answers out of them yeah we didn't um, think it through lydia <laughs> we just did it we, <laughs> we just that's fair. It's it, it, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm not saying it's no, a bad no, no, idea. no. That's what you said. That's what you well, said. Well, I saw it in your eyes, Lydia. I, I, I saw it in your eyes. Why don't we okay. find out whether it's a good or bad idea? Um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh, but, here, but here's the thing. I just want to. Um, before we launch into it, I want yeah, to. It's, it was smooth, and now it's really fucking not because yeah. Lydia's going to do something else instead. Yeah. No, 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 but wait, wait. <laughs> um, before we come, because we've just given everybody like a big block of information and I just want quick fire what everyone's favourite, this sounds like I'm going, tell me what I did that was so cool. But like, what, uh, what is, first of all, your character's favourite moment on the island and your character's like, the, uh, like most hated moments, not like what, what did Tom hate that Lydia did, but like what did <laughs> Sam, <laughs> what did Mom? What did Mav hate most? I don't love that you let me just feather fall without <laughs> telling me that there was loads of enemies. Uh, <laughs> who wants to go first? You, you're talking. Sick. So um, I think my favorite moments have been uh, the moments of uh, connection. Um, there, there haven't, due to the, the whole reason that we're here, there haven't been a huge amount of like those moments of connection for the characters. Um, so I love, I cherish those little moments uh, that we've had with each other. So with with Elle, um, those sort of evenings, sitting out, watching the sun go down and kind of the old man. Yeah, old man club. Companionship kind of thing. That kind of, of sitting next to each other and kind of, not really having to say much other than kind of grunt every now and then is that oh. Elle's going to get Mav into fishing 
But in that way, where they fish and they don't really catch any fish, they just fucking cast the line and sit it out. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, with with CC, I think we've we've already briefly touched on it. But those moments where they can simulate kind of high society um, moments, like um, you know, little tea parties where we use up far too much of the sort of the farm milk uh for sort of Didn't you uh, use, like all of the fucking mayonnaise or something like that? yes i i, I <laughs> made <brulee>. mayonnaise <laughs> i made mayonnaise instead of i tried to make creme, creme brulees uh it but turned out mayonnaise mayonnaise. instead of cream like, yes uh yes that was you it wore, like um, ball, you wore a ball gown and like your best clothes to any opportunity that you could yeah and those uh, and actually just the moments of sort of like talking i think uh i think mav is a creature of uh of leisure and those moments where he can just sort of sit in companionship with someone i think is really important for him so that's i think those are my moments and what's his worst what's the moment that he's oh uh i think the dawning realization i don't want to go too much into it but the dawning realization that um this escape from his world as a writer is not an escape because he has one of his fans on the island kind of peppering him with questions about these books that he may or may not have written <laughs> um so yeah probably that like the Amazing. the fact that actually despite the fact that this was him running away he's he's not run away from any of the problems uh yeah. really the problem's right here <laughs> it's me you fucking brussels sprout <laughs> <laughs> um cc um cc um i think see like cc is obviously loved um like hanging around with mav and like l and weirdly likes Jacks a lot more than she was expecting. I think um, that's true of CC and Mav. Yeah, yeah, for She's sure. a very charming crab. Yeah. She's a well-respected crab about town <laughs> doing the best things. I, I, I respected that uh, that bit. Yeah. I liked it. Um, very good. <laughs> anyway, CC, but I think CC, some of CC's favourite moments have been um... The the moments when uh, she I mean actually one probably is meeting Joltish and not dying I think that's pretty great I'm gonna say the the bits where she wakes up feeling very sore and like from a hard day's work and she's finding everything on the island so extremely hard but the fact that she is doing it I think is uh, giving her like. Um, a new, a new, different kind of confidence. Um, you know, she's a socialite. She's she spends her time around people all the time. So the fact that she's like, I can, I can be on my own, and I can do that is probably one of her like a good character moment for her. Um, mm. Her worst moment, I think, it's really hard because I think there is like that moment of uh, the realization of. Oh God, we're on like we're on this island. This is going to be really hard. I'm so out of my comfort zone. Um, but the wor the worst I think is probably when she had that first had that conversation with Mav when Mav recognised who she was, and um, the the realization of her actions, right? Mm. Like mm. Um, the world outside of the island will be aware of what's going on. Not, not even, not even that. But um, you know, similarly to Matt, she was just running away, and now you're on an island and you stop. You go, oh, what have I done? You know, mm. um, we are, we are the Spider-Man meme. <laughs> same hat, same trauma. <laughs> <laughs> running away too, huh? <laughs> Realization of shit. I've I've run away from home. That's 
<laughs> I'm What's a, the next step? I'm, a, like, I'm a, like a 35 year old woman and I've just run away from home. Doesn't sound right, but still. Um, yeah, that's her. Cool. Um, Elle, has it just been good times? Um, like, it's not been as bad for Elle as it has been for the others. Um, but, I, mean, I mean, yeah. a man came and stabbed you and turned into dandelion seeds, like. And and crab almost became like. Yeah. So so, in terms of good times, I I think Elle's favourite times are the stuff we actually don't really get into because we're playing a a D and D game and it actually wouldn't all be all that interesting. The art you won't hear it for a second. I'm just going to show you the art that Michelle did. But. That picture of mm. Elle sat on the back of Jacques, like quietly fishing. Mm. The idea of Elle cooking fish while those two gossip about like Cece's makeup and how they actually both know who each other are, and then they just get they eat just because mm. I remember Mav being like, "Oh, what I didn't eat this with my hands or it was something like that," and I was like, and he was like, "No, no, do it," and it was like all very good because I can't like cook and stuff and like the, the I'll tell you something I think he gets a weird sense of ownership over the small forest on the farm island which is new for him I don't mm -hmm. think he ever has like a um, like a like he's, he's never had a home mm. you've gone you've, being a child you've gone from yeah. like nomadic life to kind of almost parochial kind of village mm. life almost yeah right? like like he's gone from the world to suddenly go oh no i'm actually fully stuck here and, and he doesn't hate it apart from all the things attacking obviously um in terms of the worst thing i i think it is the very stark realization that he hasn't seen his mothers mm. who because he also doesn't know what sort of state he left them in when he left mm. like in terms of there's narrative stuff that may come out or may not uh, but like it was it was it was fucking it was fucking mm. quick turnaround when he went and mm. they were supportive of him going but he hasn't sent any message back and they've not contacted him mm. so he actually doesn't know how they're doing and he doesn't mm. know what happened immediately after he doesn't know the ramifications of him immediately leaving that one space mm. for the reasons he left which is very mm. fucking cryptic. Yeah. But yeah, I think he's, 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 what he's really felt in his bones for the first time is the first consequence mm. for the first time he chose an easy life over anything else. Mm. And Nikki worries for Air that this is going to be a double effect of realizing 300 years of waltzing through people's lives and homes and villages and leaving this like huge impact on other people and not receiving the same impact mm. i think maybe the um the most he got from that half loon village that he lived in accidentally for 60 years um was some songs mm. whereas what they got out of it was someone who effectively saved their like he was like a like a folk hero for them in that like mm. he like said and like I don't think he's processed the the disparity between Elle's world and the actual world and I think this is maybe mm. the the start of like pulling out that thread. So what I'm hearing is all three characters have been running for for a, a certain amount of time. Um, I feel like Elle probably the longest, Cece the shortest. <clears throat> However, we've all collectively now been forced to stop. And are all facing it, it at the same time. It's almost yeah. like, guys, we're a group of creators. <laughs> yeah. and there we... is, there is no coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> Themes. Um, yeah, I think I'm excited to get into whatever's next. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's all for us tonight. Voice. Thank you very much. See no. you later. <laughs> um, <laughs> guys, we're gonna play the trailer just to get everyone in the mood, and Roll then the we're tape. gonna be in character and going for it. Yes, so we will you see you guys. Well, you guys will still be here. We'll see you in four minutes and three seconds, I think it is. Nunchucks. Welcome to the Iridian Empire. This sprawling land is led by Emperor Julian II. 
you do not find us in the hustle and bustle of Iridian cities, with the push and pull of politics and law and order, nor in the dusty plains with the whispered prayers from farmers' lips, nor the treacherous Sierras. You do not find us in the northern jungles, the eastern deserts, or the southern wilds. Today, you find us in the westernmost part of the Iridian Empire. If you were to dust off a very particular and long-forgotten history book, you might read about a powerful arcanist who commanded the very seabed to rise up and form itself into a cluster of idyllic islands as a gift to his beloved and first emperor of Iridia. On the northernmost bluff of these islands, a lighthouse was formed from stone and crystal, a beautiful beacon to all that enter the empire's waters, reminding them that they are now embraced by the borders of the greatest civilization that has ever been. These islands were named Aesodos Din Aridia, or the Mouth of Aridia, but most people just called it Aesodos. Every year a new community was curated to care for the lighthouse and the islands, a dozen or two people that would bask in the paradise of this constructed archipelago. Their only law was that the light must never go out. Your history book might tell you this, and it might even tell you of the rumours of those that returned from the islands blessed and changed. But those are just bard songs and tittle-tattle, and only a fool would take them at face value. For now, the year is Epoch of Julian 26, and you could count on one set of hands the people that knew of Aesodos. The centuries have slowly worn the memory of this place from people's minds like etched writing on a lichen-covered tombstone. Each year, fewer and fewer people came to the island, and those employed to recruit found themselves hardly caring. And so, we find only three caretakers brought for the task. Only three lighthouse keepers to farm and maintain and live on Aesodos for a full year. L is a wood elf, with peaceful eyes and a great attachment to his friend Jacques, a crab he saved from a trap. L took this job for his crustacean friend as a treat away from the hubbub of towns and cities. Then there's the beautiful half-elf known as Cece, full of wit and vivacity, it wasn't long ago that she was addressed as Lady Cecilia Arcavia. If you asked her, she might find it hard to explain how she got here, or what happened that day on the ship when she was saved from the brink of death by a mysterious being. And finally, Maverick Spells, known by many as Mav. The dazzling and renowned author has many volumes to his name that could raise your pulse and bring a flush to your cheek. He tells himself he's on a grand writer's retreat, but sometimes Maverick is not completely honest with himself. There is talk of an elderly hermit that wanders a dilapidated temple, a permanent member of the island thought to be a worshipper of Tish, the god of tempests. Our lighthouse keepers cannot yet know what the island has in store for them. They only know that they've been promised paradise and a year away from their lives. Lives that, for whatever reason, they left behind. Welcome to Wicked Games, The Lighthouse of Aesodos. We're back! Hi! Welcome. Welcome to So You Th No, that's something else. Uh, the So... You are stood on the beach of the Homestead Island that is in the middle of the bay of the largest island in this archipelago. A trench has been built, has been dug, built is the wrong word, and you are currently, um, El, maybe you, I don't know who will be doing it, is bucketing water into this trench. Um, it's or whatever happening. method you did to fill it with water. Um, the day has clouded over. It was already a fairly cloudy day, but it, it has clouded over even more. There are some darker clouds that threaten off in the distance, and a light rain just starts 
to list you, though, of course, most of you have been in the water, so um, it's not exactly getting you down. What do you do? I turn to Cece and go, I mean, honestly, Cece, look at the look at the leather, the workmanship on the leather. I wasn't wrong to, to ask for the flask back, was I? I mean, it, it's it's truly lovely. No, I think, it, I look, it's your flask. You didn't yeah. hand it to, excuse me, all of our um, sound baffling, sound baffling is falling down. Um, no, it's beautiful. Um, I don't think, I don't think there was anything wrong with it. And I think, you know, I, um, you know, she just threw it back quite forcefully, which... <laughs> Oh well, yes, I, I I thought it was uh, rather cantankerous of her, I have to say, but I I did ask. I, I asked politely, you know, and I, I think I think I think people need to respect politeness a little bit more, okay? Well they, well, they do. That's why I just went over and said, "Excuse me, can I have it back?" And she went, "Yeah, that's absolutely fine, but not quite like it. that, no." Um, right, <clears throat> but anyway, um. What are we going to do with this chap here? Like, do, um, do they understand us? I don't think they do, do they? Does anyone know? This person, uh, just to refresh your memory, this person was knocked unconscious, um, but then they never had to do death saving throws because it was specifically non-lethal damage. So they will have to ha complete a long rest in order to get back up right in order to wake up okay um and they that they were knocked out about an hour ago so they've got like seven hours right. it is currently around brunch time if we're going to do it with that kind of um so much for going with okay. uh, going on mav time <laughs> yeah. the problem the problem is that brunch time and mav time um is 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So that is <laughs> it's such a massive window. Yeah. Um, well, I guess we got chores to do, right? So do we just do them while we wait for them to wake up? I mean, um, you, you know, sort of awkwardly, Shay is sort of lingering um as you sort of turn around and you're like thinking well what do we do in this like weird time you realize that shay was sort of within ear distance of the last conversation that you were having and it's just like <laughs> pushing <laughs> pushing his toes like into the like gravel um trying to pretend like he's busy and not like listening and um oh uh, and and then i i said to that albatross that stole my flask like get away albatross <laughs> Get away! I can't believe you're taking it. Like, uh, oh hi, um, Shay. Hi, Shay. <laughs> Matt hi. seems to be having a stroke. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's fine. Um, no, I guess it's um. So, what is the what? Are, what are we? What are we doing? Because it feels like you know, like you know. I mean, I've still got adrenaline just pumping. I don't know what you know. What do we do? What are we doing? Uh, right. I well, I. I don't really know, right, right. So we went down there, we found out they're like, you said they're a bit culty. So they're here worshipping something here. Um, also, I'm still very worried about the stuff I got from my pearls, you know, saying like, help me and stuff. Um, you wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Oh, uh, pick a pearl. Oh, was this like a game? Go on. Not, not really, no. Um, oh. Do, do you oh. hear anything? Try and do something with it. Leah, <laughs> just out of interest, uh, what what did I do to trigger it last time? Because I, I you know passed you identify through it. And that was and that was how I got the sound. That was how you did it, yeah. Oh maybe But I, I didn't get it. I, I didn't hear it. It was No, no, no. You just cast identify and got the information on the weapon. Um I think L is gonna come with a, like a bucket in each hand and Jax has got like a, a like holding like a bucket in each claw as as we are single-handedly filling up this trench from the nearest body of, body of water. Yeah. 
sofa while they're just fucking milling about, yeah. talking about how much adrenaline they have left over. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking. <laughs> just... You're doing great, Al. Really, you and Jack, great team. Great team. Um, like, did I pick the right one? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I feel like maybe this is something for another time. Can I have it back, please? Maybe we'll right. We'll talk this out another time. I'm sorry. I'm just like a bit uh, panicky. Like I don't really know what we do now. Well, um, I I don't really have spells, so I can't do that thing that, you know, I can't cast anything through it. I'm I'm also just not very, like, you know, I I do a bit of healing, but it doesn't. You know, I'm not like saying clever words and like like he does, like drawing like glyphs out. I just tend to like touch people and um. You know, it, it it's soothing. Um, oh, right, yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, <laughs> no, I was... Is, are y'all... We, we talking about the uh, our uh, our friend under here? Yeah, well, they're not going to wake up for, like, a while, so we're just trying to work out what we do now. I like, mean, we can wake them up. Um... <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah, we can. Like have you, so have you got layer actions like... happening in your house currently? Every, like, it's like every 20th um, uh, initiative order, something happens in your house. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's our house has layer actions. The, the last house, the last house, uh, the internet didn't work and uh, the, you know, it was too cold and too hot. This one is has none of those, but it does have a ghost. Uh, so... It's sentient. It's sentient. <laughs> Yeah, so what do you think we should do, Al, if anything? Well, I mean, I was just fixing to ask him if he and his and his friends could maybe, you know, stop coming up trying to kill us and maybe kind of see what, maybe we're on their land and then maybe they can help us get out of here. Like, if we just have a civil conversation, Oh, yeah, 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 I know that fine. conversation, but it, it's not going to happen until this evening. I mean, I can help with that. Oh, yeah, okay, like, you know fix him up a little and then have the conversation now unless 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 y'all's got stuff that you need to be getting on with when we say conversation um i kind of look down at your sort of knife on your belt and the (laughs) the the (laughs) the bow um that is never too far away from you i kind of go now i know you l but how 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 much do we ever really know anyone? Like, are we? Do we? You gonna now, fuck him up, or? What did you say? Are you going to fuck him up, or? Now, uh... now, now. See, the way you was talking, it sounded like you was insinuating something, and that's just not me. I'm not that guy. We're gonna calmly have a conversation. Ain't no need for knives. It's just I'm I'm not I, I don't I don't love blood much, um, so I you know I'd rather not be here if, uh, if if we're going to you know, got him like a fish, <laughs> you know. Um, now now you don't. I mean I don't know if you would, because with a fish and with a mammal it's very different. So I don't know kind of what this gentleman's biology would require, but, you know, it's 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 not something that I'm fixing to find out real soon. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm just I'm just feeling rather faint. Uh, look, I, I don't think, I, as much as, you know, I, I broach the idea of potentially uh, gaining information from this man, uh, this... Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure I'm the one to get it. Um, now, I, ain't you always been saying you're Mr. Fancy Man and the words and the 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 letters and the yes, yes, words, words are an art. Um, he is good at words. Yeah. Then I can, why would why would why would anyone want to stand in the way of you doing your art? Well, quite. <laughs> um, that, look, now, I'm, now, 
now Maverick, if, if I were you, if I were you, that would that would feel if somebody said, Hey, hey, Elron, I don't think you should fish right now. I think we should let someone else do it. I'd feel like maybe that they're asking me to hide my light under a bushel. And I'm not gonna ask out of you, Mr. Maverick. I think I think you should let your light shine. Are you sure? I have a rather large and wonderful bushel to hide it behind. <laughs> uh, look, if if I if if I truly must, I I, I shall. Um, however, we have the shining light, the the vision in future herself, right next to us. Isn't that right? Um, right. Yes. Sorry, you would you sometimes you two do this thing when you talk, and I can't really follow what you're saying. Um, <laughs> What's what? Sorry, Susie, your Michelle is showing. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Now, I, I, the, you were just talking about bushels and light. No, it's, it's and... more. That was more of sort of like a uh, uh, like a metaphor, like right. It's like a fun story instead of just saying what you mean. Um, so I, when did you hide in bushels? I, I, I've, I've hidden many a bush, but never a bushel. We will talk about that later. Um, I, I, perhaps I should be more frank. Um, I, as much as I love your your optimism um, in regards to this 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 fine fellow uh, and him giving us all of the information that we so wish, I am not entirely sure he will be as forthcoming as you so wish. Um, which leads me to the next point. There, there should possibly be a way for us to extract that information um, when he doesn't necessarily need what to give it to us. Uh, that's something I don't want to do. <laughs> um, and I just want to talk about whether that is an option and whether we should or should not do it. Um, morally, I know, but... She has like a moment of realization and goes, Ooh, and sprints into the sea. Oh, oh, where... Fucking brilliant! I thought well, it was if I go, could fucking oh, do that, oh, Shay. Fucked, mate. I love this shit. <laughs> well, now I don't. Right, I don't. Right, right. So Shay's gone. Okay, that's you... fine. That's okay. So, are you saying that you have some kind of magic spell that you can take someone's knowledge, <gasps> and then you, you do just that? don't want to do that spell? Uh, and uh, Mad goes to one of his books and sort of leafs through a couple of the pages and uh, sort of leafs through another couple and goes, no, I do not. I do not have that. Um, if I did, uh, this would be far more helpful. Um, but... Have we um, tried, like, I'm not saying, you know, you shouldn't do it really, but have we tried just, you know, while, while he's, like, taking a little nap, why don't we just like dig through pockets and see if there's anything like any clues or anything that he's got any pockets on or you know in, in, like <laughs> not his clothing no. um <laughs> jesus <laughs> that's it lydia yes that's what i'm asking can i check this this fish gentleman's chat and pocket <laughs> <laughs> i mean what are gills but pockets per thing no and no, um, it... <laughs> no lydia how dare you Right now, you get right. Give us something. Give us a clue. Give us the answers. <laughs> I say something that grosses you out. And you're like, right, that's it. Just tell us the answers. We're not playing this game anymore. It's our version of a swear jar for you. <laughs> um, Lydia, do I feel like if I gave this gentleman some cure wounds, he would pop back up more? Yeah. Okay, so we could have this. So I'm thinking we could actually have this conversation you know quick smart and just kind of get a vibe see see what see right. what this gentleman's putting down to yeah. kind, of, kind of see what we're working with can you like tie him down so i mean he's i mean honey he's already bound all right and in a hole That's <laughs> well wait 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 who's who's the good custer and who's the bad custer oh oh, oh now in I my experience good, oh no can i be bad i ain't never I'll been be a good custer I, I, I wish to see that you're bad custom, right? 
Sorry, like, that sounded so <laughs> terrible. Uh, so bad. I, I can. I can. Immediately that. writes it down. Uh, I want to see your the bad custer. <laughs> um, custer is is like guards and police people. Um, yeah. Fuck okay. Custers. So you're gonna. Um, can I please have a uh, dimension? I feel like L is the person who can tell me this of the hole that you put him cool. in. It is seven foot long, and it's three foot wide and three foot deep. Okay. It is, okay. It is enough to, like, lay in yeah. and, like, not touch any walls as, like, a, a fish folk, but they would have to, like... It's a shallow grave, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. That's why, you know, you know, it's, it's a little trench. Okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna... Because... If you dig much deeper, you get into like soft soil, and then it starts to make the water murky, and it's just it's just a nightmare. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So what do you do? You cast some healing. I mean, I mean, do we want to have this conversation now? Because ain't no one saying that anyone has to do it themselves. I'll be here. Jax will right. be here. He's it's, just there going. It's just we're, you know, us. Just look. We just want to chat. We just want to know what they're up to, why they keep attacking us, like, can they just not? Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. I can't see um, what's going to go wrong. I'm going to pop my hand in and cure wounds them. They're, like, bound at their wrist and the and the legs. Mab takes two steps back. Jax is, like, over the hole, ready for CC to do. I thought Mab was doing bad, uh, good custom. You, <laughs> yeah, from a distance. Um... Are you doing It's okay, the... I'm the nice one. <laughs> <laughs> um, as I remember, the way that you canonically cast Cure Wounds is by... Jax does people. a little bit of, uh, like, crab spit on in my mouth, in, his, in my <laughs> mouth, in, his, in my hands. <laughs> oh, <laughs> somehow. <laughs> oh, God. Um, okay, can you tell me the amount of hit points that they've got? Um, oh, fuck it, you can. Jax fully just goes. Bro. <laughs> that is that is eight hit points. Oh. Eight. Hey, look. Sometimes when when L goes unconscious and he can't cast the spell on himself, Jax does have to directly spit them into L's mouth, and that's fine. Um, when as soon as you do it, you see these the eyelids like flick open and the under lid like flick to the side, and these dark eyes looking up and it goes to snap at your hand can you please roll a um a dexterity saving throw how many years have i not been playing pathfinder and i still call it reflex <laughs> guys i'm back using this dice right come on it's very good to me dexterity saving throw yeah mm -hmm. um that's okay uh 18. so um you just see the it's like eyes open and it immediately like its lips curl back and these like long teeth like <laughs> tries to like uh, grab at your hands but you're like way too quick for that. And now watch yourself. It is like bound like this and just <laughs> kind oh, please. Of Can you stop, please? <laughs> <coughs> Bad custer. <coughs> oh, <coughs> right. You stop that, or you don't want to know what I'm gonna do with you. Can you roll um, an intimidation check at disadvantage, sure please? Can. Wait, hang on, just very quickly. Do you have Do you have proficiency in either persuasion or intimidation? We might have had. <laughs> we should have probably I had this do conversation. Have proficiency you guys in don't even know. Persuasion. Yeah. <laughs> I should have been good, Colt. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, I rolled the same, but both bad. Um, that's a nine. Okay, so you're you've just got your hands on your hips and you're looking yeah. down into this trench, and this like thrashing creature, like stops for a second and just goes. I'm really sorry. Do you speak? Um, do you speak common or elvish? And I, I say these things like in common and I say it in elvish. Um, halfling 
or Sylvan. It is still just like thrashing in the water and... Um... Excuse me, sir, can you... Sorry, I know we've got you tied up. I know it's not great. We just want to know what's happening, you know? You keep attacking us. Can you, can you not? Um, he manages to like turn himself sort of over in the trench and is like up on his like knees and oh. is just... Is he wearing any clothes at all? Uh, Ellie's moving. I'm, I'm, is he wearing any clothes at all? Like, yeah, rags, rags. I'm just gonna like, grab the rags at his back that are close, like his where his sleeves are, to kind of like pull them tight to like bind his chest outwards. So he's like, uh, like I've got like a, it's like a control like thing. So he's sort of hanging forward, and you've got hold of like a shirt yeah. part at the back. And he, he's still like thrashing and um, not like. I'm like, know. I'm like, fucking like stood the straddle of the fucking trench. <laughs> like the wide stance. I kind of look over at, uh, at Cece and go, Bad Custer. <laughs> I don't know, I know. Um, right, um, he's not really paying any attention to me. Now, Ferba, do you, how about Gnomish? Is that any, is that any better to you? You don't look like a gnome, but you know, you never know. <laughs> like um, trying to fight Does him. he speak, does he speak Aqua? No, because Shay would have been able to understand. Because oh. Jack speaks Aqua. <laughs> Can Jack speak to them? <sighs> okay, okay, look. Uh, hello, uh... Oh, well, he doesn't speak any of the that. Um, I mean, you know that that you know that the common uh, because Anya said last session when you threw the plaque at um, you said, do, "Do you understand what the plaque says?" And she said, "That's not Aquan, that's Southgate." Southgate. Um, this, I believe, is entirely useless <laughs> um i don't think we can com communicate with you this. see shay like waving back out of the water towards you like waving and, he, and um he like comes up short and goes oh blimey uh woken up uh has anyone um this is so awkward to say because i know she's not made a good impression but my sister actually has a scroll of comprehend languages but she doesn't want to give it to you. And I just wondered if you had anything really pretty that I could like do a trade with. I've been really trying, but she doesn't want to give it to you. Um, I kind of look down at the flask and kind of go, oh, it's my favorite one. We, I, we can get you a new one though. And you know, <sighs> a, a now, better now, one. Now maybe. Now you're gonna have to grab it from my quiver because I'm, I'm, you know, hand, hands full right now yeah, as I'm sort of just, you know, yeah. riding the sour game, as they say. What was <laughs> I saying? He's a sour game cowboy. <laughs> Not at all, Cece. <laughs> Not at all. Um, um, well, I mean, I'm gonna uh, gesture well, to uh, one of the tuned arrows that are the arrows that my mothers make, and I'm gonna gesture to like Mam to like get out of my quiver. Do we know that those that that's the case? That your your mother made them? Uh, no, mother you don't know that yet. You're... You bastard. You bastard. Um, they do, I'm... because they talk to you about your mums, and that's when you said... Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do know, they do know. At that point, I go, oh, well, you're not giving that. I, I bought I bought this. <laughs> I bought this at, at a bazaar. Um, it's okay. Like, this is... This is a... Look... You can you can take this if you so wish, um, or I mean perhaps she'd like something else. Uh, do, I think she was angling for that. I'm not going to lie; that's it, it. Absolutely, it does. Absolute, you are right. Game. Okay. <laughs> well, look, fine, fine. Okay, fine. Um, I will. I will give it to you Ooh. to her. Um, uh, if 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 she can give us the scroll. Okay, fine. <clears throat> And Deal. he takes it and, and he goes, again, I'm so sorry. I don't know why she's like this, you know. Uh, and he, like, runs away. Um, and you're think, just left to, like... Um, I think I like, sort of shout after after him. Deal made, you watery bent. <laughs> <laughs> I just pat uh, 
slap on the shoulder. And I know how hard this is hitting him. Thank you. It makes me feel much better. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, Jack, can you help um, L hold this this man down? Oh, it's all coming down. It's all coming down. Um, Jack, Jacques is gonna go round the front and tra- like walk forwards as giant crabs do apparently um or maybe do like little shuffles to straddle the um the trench so the trench is in between his legs and yeah i think i think um jacks is just gonna like jacks is gonna grapple him because jacks is fucking absolute beast and literally okay um He's he's grappled. I'm not going to make you roll for it because uh, it's just you know not an initiative. Um, Crabby. Crabby. Um, while he's doing all this, they're not beasts, are they? No. no. Can I detect poison and disease on him? Oh. Um. If I mean you, you know the spell, can you? What? Yeah, Nikki. Fucking hell. Um, it's on myself for 10 minutes. You can sense the presence and locations of poison, poisonous creatures, and diseases within 30 foot of you. You can also identify the kind of poison, poisonous creature, or disease. So if there's any disease, poison, or poisonous creature within 30 foot of me, I know. Yeah, are you going to do that? Yeah. <clears throat> what, you, uh, what you sense... <clears throat> as you cast that and you your your vision kind of changes and you're and you're looking at this creature um you uh, firstly you just look at mav and you can just see his liver um and <laughs> I didn't think you were going to say liver uh. um you look at the stargine i just and... see it's like a luminous green outline of like mav's liver just like warm um but you you look at this creature and you see that um yes you see poison all over the creature you see that within the glands of the creature there are sacks of like poison not poisonous to it yeah not poisonous to it but um as you guys have sort of um i think you've encountered with a few of them they are capable of poisoning you with um with attacks Sometimes they attack with weapons. Sometimes they claw at you. But if they, um, if some of them are capable of, of poisoning you with their bite, so they have like glands around them. And also, they're just th- this. This one is particularly like filthy and um, grim. Is he diseased? Um, he's not so got some kind of brain sepsis or. You're not looking at a rabid sour game. Cool. And um, then, really importantly, one, I need to know what is wrong with Matt's liver, and two, I just get a quick peek at Jack. Just this is his checkup. I'm like, wait, oh, no, I'm like, um, <laughs> uh, Matt's just an uh, an older guy. I think. I mean, maybe Matt. What? Maybe Tom? You want to say? Like, I think we all know what's wrong. With Matt's liver. That's just incredibly pickled. <laughs> <laughs> um, and. Um, and yeah, everyone's everyone's fine. Everyone's doing good. You know, you 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 crabs, a crab, 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 crab. Um, this this would have been a perfect time for you to have like dropped in the actual in canon law that uh, that Jax is poisonous to eat. Uh, therefore, <laughs> but Jax, or ha- even worse, um, Jax just has cancer. Oh, <laughs> <God. laughs> like, Jax just has a terminal disease and no. has only a month left to live. Like, <laughs> that's, that's yeah. It's not funny. It's terrible. But Sorry. Not you get really dizzy, aren't they? <laughs> oh, <God>. Imagine. <laughs> There's a reason it why. Happen. Everyone's cool. Everyone's good. There's a reason why that's the fucking zodiac sign, eh? <laughs> Oh my um, god. <laughs> just, oh. just, oh, how do I get rid of the beast companion? Terminal illness. <laughs> <laughs> the 
it's just a smash cut to you know, the fantasy vets going, I'm so sorry, I'm going to have to put him down. They just can't get a needle thick enough to get to it. But just oh, drip the hammer. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Uh, bang! <laughs> chisel and hammer. Oh, frightful. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. God, <laughs> Shay. Oh, Lydia, that was fucking dark. Yeah. That was fucking dark. You know me. Comes running back out of the water, holding a scroll and doesn't really know how to give it to. to, give it to. So, um... Cece, you, uh, give, you, you've been doing such a good job so far. I, Wait, are you sure? You want me to do that? Absolutely, absolutely. Can, do I, as, like, someone who dabbles in the arcane, would I know that she could use... Yeah, or maybe I can't. I may not be able to use it. Um, it's a self thing, um, and it's level one. So, um, if I think you, it's a class yeah. thing, they might not. Only certain classes can cast it. I think they both can, though. Um, I'd have CC roll an Arcana, um, just to kind of, you know, especially with new law that we have just recently. <laughs> I think. Um, just having a quick look. 10. Uh, you roll a 16. <laughs> Divination of the... I love Thank that. Thank you. All right, Do you get to add your modifiers to that? 15. So you... <laughs> <laughs> you understand that for the duration, you can understand spoken language. You understand written language. Um... And it lasts for an hour. All right. All right. I think I, yeah, I think I can do this. If you're... You'll still have to find a way of communicating to it to, to get it to say something that you might understand. Wait, won't that make me understand it? Comprehend language. It needs to say words. Well, yo, yes, you understand, but, you, but what, what it doesn't do, as far as I understand. It won't is... understand me. You can't speak the language, I don't think. For the duration, you understand the yeah, language. Yeah, tongues is the... Language. Oh, it's tongues yeah, in it. Yeah, so I'd be able... I could read the thing and, and understand... It, and if you can get it to talk, if you can get it to understand you and talk, yeah. then you can understand what it's saying, but you can't speak the language. Okay. I mean, if you can just hear any words it's saying right now, that's yeah. helpful. Like, it's the <clears> context. <throat> Mm. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is make sure I've got the um, plaque thing with me that has the word on it, so I know that's the first thing I'll be able to read, and because then I might be able to like gesture yeah. to it, understanding what it says, and get some stuff yeah. out of this person. Yeah. So, cool. um, I'm gonna get Mav's help for like how I do this scroll because Cece's gonna perfect. Be like, the help action, amazing. Yeah. Um, you don't need to roll to cast it because you've already done the arcana um but you definitely have him like looking over your shoulder as you're as you cast it on yourself yeah and just a full-on uh go little rock star <laughs> moment, like... you um immediately you know the plaque that was nearby you pick it up and you touch the kind of scrawling in, in it and the word there, it seems to like move in front of your eyes. And it's not that it's, it, you, it like says the word in common. It's still, it's still the same shape that it was before, but you understand that this word means failure. However, in Sauhagin, failure also means traitor. The word is like the same word. Okay. Because okay. they could mean the same thing. Okay, okay, okay. Um, then... Uh, I assume... I, yeah, I can still speak, so I'm, I will relay that information say, Oh, okay, oh, it means, like, failure or, like, traitor. Uh, maybe that's, like, a similar thing to them, though. You know, if you fail, then you're a traitor to them. And the priestess did fail at getting me, so maybe that's why. Um, um, hi, again, and I'll turn to the 
the sound green and be like, hi, I know you can't understand me. Um, uh, uh, and I'm just gonna like gesture to the, um, the thing like, Faith. A role, role persuasion. <laughs> You're like, are you a failure? Are you a failure? <laughs> failure? Traitor? A failure? That's you, right? <laughs> it says oh, here, now little I get bitch. The, is this oh, right? Now I get the bad, bad customer. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, that's a 25. Jeez. There you go. That's. I, I that's also need to remind cool. everyone that Cece's in a ripped bathing suit right now. Yes. Yes, she looks very... Um, maybe not for this dude. Maybe no. that you're not his thing. But you're like if Yasmin Bleak was uh, attacked by a horny shark. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you make this gesture, and uh, the words start pouring out of this um, bound creature who is within the claws of Jax. And at first, um, he, he's kind of saying. Um, uh, I'm not a traitor. I will. Uh, what does he say? The um. I will be the one that does the sacrifices. I will not fail the Shadow Lord. And um, and then uh, stops. And it's it's like as he truly understands what you're saying, which is like uh, you're you're also a failure. Um, he just starts singing this song, which somehow is like similar to. All hail the Shadow Lord, all hail the Shadow Lord, all hail the Shadow Lord. Um, um all right, okay. Uh, so, so how's it going? Okay, so ah, ah, he, was, he was right, so I, I sort of indicated that he's probably a traitor slash failure too, because you know, because we caught him and stuff. Um, I was hoping more he'd go oh you're right i'm gonna join you guys but that's not quite how it went right but, um he did say something about getting the sacrifices for the shadow lord and now he's just singing about the shadow lord um it it does fit with what shay was saying about it them being very like into cults and stuff it feels a little culty but what right. on earth is the shadow lord So there's no one, there's, there's, you don't know of anybody on the island that's like a, so there isn't, you don't know who the Shadow Lord is. Should I know? Do you think it's no. Elska? Do you, do you know, Shay? <laughs> yeah. Me? Shay, do you know? Am I the Shadow Lord? <gasps> oh my god, they, they're worshipping me. But do you want to sacrifice us, Shay? I'm sorry, what? Do you what want to sacrifice us? No. Oh. Not yet. Then I don't think it's you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's at this point that Mav realizes that quite how just deficient we all are. <laughs> <laughs> um, he goes, um, okay, no, let's, let's. Let's think for a moment. I I, I can't say I've ever been um, the, the most the most you know uh, worshipful um, uh, uh, follower of any gods. But are there any gods of the shadow? Any? I I don't know. But what? Look, the difficulty we're having is communicating with this person, right? Mav, you have like a book and stuff. Could you like draw pictures in it? Maybe like draw a picture of the um, spiny um, mask thing you saw, and I, you know, maybe you know if he's like that's the Shadow Lord, then we'll be like cool. Or if he's like oh that's Greg, don't worry about him, then we'll get some information. I'm I'm sorry, Cece. Do I look like a children's fucking author? <laughs> Do I look like? You're right. I'm so sorry. I'm Quintinius so sorry. Blakeney. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm of course I should have known. I'm so sorry that 
shouldn't even have asked. I, I... No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll yes and for a moment, uh, and I, I kind of that. try and try and do as much as good a. Uh, are, we, are we? Are we? Oh, the, yes. Um, and I, I sort of try to sketch um, the uh, the the sort of the Sapogin with the um, the stretched out face um, uh, that I saw in my vision. Um, as as well as possible. I, I'm not an artist. Would you like me to roll something for you? Yeah, uh, roll um, either performance or sleight of hand. Um, at this stage, the Sargin is thrashing, is going between trying to break free from the grapple and singing with it with um, their eyes shut. Um, um, I, I, I draw a a stick man um, with uh, sort of spiky hair and uh, like a cloth on his face. Uh, I, I rolled a seven, light of hand, and sort of just kind of, and just kind of I, I turn it round and go. Uh, he's not even really looking at this point. He's very focused on like singing and like yes, L. Um, do these, do the, just the, the vocalizations and the tune and the kind of like, do these feel like L known some singers and like, you know, the halflings are big singers and they sing for a lot of like rituals and feasts and, and all of those things. Does this feel like a, like a death knell? Death knell? Death knell? Um, death roll inside. <coughs> roll inside. Roll high. Like, because he's pretty religious, but his religion doesn't involve as much, like, uh, fucking, what's the word? What's the word? Like, they, general uh, religion knowledge. When they fucking, uh, self flagellation. <coughs> flagellation. <clears throat> I don't think, I don't think I'm getting anything from this, CC. I'm not, uh, I'm not getting the life of this, this, this. This uh, drawing. I'm like capturing true essence. It's just a stick figure. I feel like I, if if only. <laughs> so close. If only I had my, uh, my my uh, my wax uh, wax crayons. <laughs> if only I had my pastels. Um, I got twenty one, Lydia. Um, no, this doesn't feel like a, like, funereal, it doesn't feel like a death knell, it, it feels like, uh, like a, like a hymn. Yeah. And then, is the volume with, such that it feels like a call for, like, the Brotherhood sort of thing? I mean, it's loud enough that you're like... Right. Okay. Can I just, can I just... Wave, wave like at him a little bit. Um, uh, I'm gonna get some cloth. I've got a shit ton of cloth, if I remember rightly. Um, he wriggles enough that he is free from. I'm assuming oh. because um, he just rolled a uh, um, a 19 and a and a 20 on disadvantage um, to get out of Jack's. Yeah, that car. that breaks it. But like, I mean, it, do you want me to didn't... roll contested? Because I'm. It di it didn't break it. He rolled a six. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, all right. Uh, just for a second, you see him like, uh, like getting out, and then um, you're like, no. And um, catch and his I'm, attention. Yeah. Can I? Can I sort of? Um, can I parrot back the the tune that he was singing and kind of just point down to your crotch? <laughs> I am doing that right now. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like point down at the floor, like tap the floor and kind of go. Ah! Ah! Uh, he, he sings along with you. He's really enthusiastic. Like, um, like he's found another follower. Like, yes. <laughs> Can I try singing along too? I mean, is this? <laughs> up in it. He thinks he's indoctrinating you. So he is like so excited. Like, <laughs> um, Lydia, can I grab some like rags that I use for, you know, just rags and can I fucking gag this guy yeah yeah um can you please roll um can we do can we do contested you want to um, do a gag check it's about here <laughs> what it is is um if you succeed you get to gag him 
if he succeeds, he gets to bite you. Um, so I'd say it's contested reflex. Uh, dexterity. I, I'd argue it's animal handling, but you know, you're the DM. Yeah. Not, not an animal, how dare you? I'll he be rolled a four. Uh, so I've got to do a dex check or save, what? Just a, just a check, it's contested. Uh, I rolled a four on the dice, but I've got a plus four, so <laughs> that's good. Oh, we both rolled fours. Hang on, let me take a look. Nope, you win. Um, gagged. <clears throat> gagged. The new hit show for MTV. <laughs> um, People are just having a date, and they run up behind them and gag, and then they run away. So, like, mid-song, this, like, thing comes, and he tries to, like, bite you, but then he's just, like, muffled singing through... <laughs> Um, and makes it just... sound like all hail Shadow, Shadow Lord is to our national anthem. Which is... <laughs> I mean, maybe um... she is the Shadow Lord now. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to get taken out, man. I feel like you're actually. There's... <laughs> Nikki, there's a red dot. There's a red dot. <laughs> um... <laughs> um, I feel as <coughs> though this is not going well. Oh, is it not? Well. I... I don't think we got much information from well, him. We got and Shadow Lord. Now I, I, I'm gonna say I've met a couple of people called that call themselves Shadow in my time, and I none of them are the sorts of guys you want to spend dinner with. You know who might know though, Elska. Oh God, do we have to keep him for for longer? No, I... no. I think we just like. Let him go, and then if he attacks us, it's self-defense, isn't it? I will say this. That Correct. sounds an awful lot like human hunting. <laughs> he says knowingly. <laughs> How they do it in the and, capital? <laughs> and I've only done it twice, and I didn't see Mav, Mav goes to the human hunting resort, but doesn't actually, like aim to hit, he fires really high with the crossbow, like, oh, I nearly got like, one, and it's just like, fucking is, Mav goes to those hunts, and then and then sits in the bird watching little huts with a glass of wine, just watching the, the hunt happen. <laughs> God, he's awful. Um, I mean, yes? Fully in the cult. He's fully in. We tried chatting to him. He doesn't look. He's loving it. I assume again. Go. It's a bop. I'll give him that. It's a bop. But we let them. We let him go. If if look, he he can like run back to the sea and go back be with the other people. Or if he attacks us, then we I'm gonna defend myself. You know that's not. Now the, see the problem is that. That this is what some folks who like to hunt. I'm not S hunting him. No, I know. I'm not saying you. I'm saying that there are some folks who like to hunt, you know, like city animals because it makes them feel good in private forests. And what they do is they, they take animals to places where they don't know and they go, oh, it was self defense. It wasn't self defense, it was a scared animal. Now, I have one objection to just letting this fella go, and it's that he knows where we live and he knows the way back if he finds it. So, at the very least, I think we should knock him out and row out into the sea and drop him into the ocean so oh. he doesn't know exactly where he's just been. Let's do what, that. Yeah. You can't, is you can't do that. What if he drowns? <laughs> is 16 enough to break the grapple? Um, no. I actually don't know the answer to that question. I think it is. Is that, is, is Oh, he, I see. We're just making it up now. Well, <laughs> he's technically grappled thrice, Lydia, so fucking keep rolling, bitch. Uh... <laughs> I am rolling with disadvantage, so I've been rolling a lot. Um, um, oh, let him break out. He's got, he's bound at the legs and arms. Nah, let him out. Look, what I would say, is enough. all this time, what I would say is that um, he seems to enjoy the fact that we're bopping along. So maybe That's... if we go... Is this where he just fucking way? jumps out and starts hopping towards Matt? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, well, I, we have... We have 
you who is very proficient with a bow and a rather good sword wielding CC. So if he does, um, not to mention a fucking crab. So if he does, then I suppose that's okay. Um, shall we? Try? I, I love the fact that maybe one day in the future. Battle map will be stood astride and enlarged, like stood on top a, uh, a enlarged crab, just like yeah. <laughs> um, shall we just try and let him go? Yeah. Uh, Lydia, can I knock him unconscious? <coughs> yeah. <Not letting> him <laughs> that is not letting him go at all. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I intend to let him go. <laughs> can we let him go? I'm gonna yeah, just with like the face. I let of him my, go. Let him pass on. My my just with the face of my yukon where I'm just gonna like twat him in the back <laughs> of the head with a like pommel. Like, yes, roll roll an attack roll with with uh, at advantage. Um. Okay. Well, that's a natural twenty, so this is a problem. It's gonna be in my head for the rest of the day now, man. <sighs> okay. Seeing as it's a natural twenty, what's the damage? Uh, I don't know. Like, what is a, a Yikawa pommel? Is it just a Yikawa attack? It's a 1d8, is a Yikawa. Yeah. Okay, so it's 13 damage. Okay. Well, is that Can you crit? do me a favour? I've got a Could feeling I'm going to refine these rules about non lethal damage for the next game. But for the time being, just because you rolled a natural 20, which technically means you do the best at what you're trying to do. But what I'd like is. That's including the, the crit damage, the 13. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I get an, uh, a skill? Survival? Or... No. Hey, I'm want... a... Lydia? Yeah. I'm an incredibly well trained survival hunter. Survival is right. Survival yeah. is right. Survival is exactly right. Give me survival. Um, you're looking to get over 17. Um, dirty 20. 11 on the dice, plus 9. That's great. That's great. Um, you are... Uh, and he is immediately silent and drooping in the claws of Jax. Oh. Oh. Why? Why? I thought we were going to let him go. Now, okay. So, when... When you... Y'all, you, he's, he's not singing anymore. You don't I have know, to keep bouncing. I know, but it's so catchy. It's in my head. I think such, maybe... Such an in earworm. I think maybe don't sing a song about the Shadow Lord uh, too loud. Too loud. Um, no, it's just like when when you're hunting or being hunted in this situation, right. and they see where your den is, they're gonna go get more of their pack and come back and raid the den and eat the babies. <gasps> Lots of fun. I think I was metaf like in the metaphor. I th no, uh, okay. we're babies. I, I absolutely understand where you're coming from. Um, however, if um, I hope this is my my sheer level of uh, sheer levels of narcissism talking here, but if we are the tributes that they are uh, trying to uh, take, might they already know that we're here? They now, are, this like, attacked this the is house me, already. This is not me arguing against what you've just done. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm actually saying, might it be an idea to uh, protect ourselves and potentially um, put out some snares um, over or, or, or something over the over the next couple of days, just oh, to. Uh, I mean, that's. I can show you how to do, or I, I can just do that. But I mean, absolutely. Thanks. I can just lay traps. It's not That's incredibly kind of you to do that. Yes. <laughs> uh, Are you going to take him out? Yeah. And I mean, him? I can do that also with that. Oh, do you know what? I can do it. Um, I'm I mean, just... I feel like maybe Cece, maybe you should kind of, you know, put some clothes on, and maybe I can, I can. What's wrong? I can see oh, both. You're... I can see both your nipples, ma'am. <laughs> oh, more. I did realize you came out. I'm so sorry. Um. <clears throat> Can you hang this round his neck though when you leave him? Why? Because. Is this not valuable to us? No. As like a, I mean, it, you used it a minute ago. It had value, no? Uh, yeah, not. It's not really gonna have value now. 
but it's I mean, gonna. I, I thought look, you said to say fate. Yeah, but so if they that find him. A... Right. Okay. I think we all need like a check here. Um, not so long ago, um, he was trying to kill us. Okay. He's not gonna go. Look, I was very charming. I think we all were. I don't think he's gonna go back and go. You know what, guys? Let's not. Let's leave them alone. So I think we put this on him. He is kind of a failure slash traitor because he failed like to kill us uh, and in fact got captured. Um, you know, we're just letting them know that, you know, then if he goes back and goes, oh, they're up there, they may go, I'm not listening to you. You're a failure. You're a traitor. So in your mind, he wears this all the way home. Well, he'll be unconscious and then he'll get found and people go, oh, it's a failure. And then ignore him, or probably kill him. But that's not that's <laughs> you know what? It's not on my hands, is it? Not on our hands, is it? I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take this this gentleman down, and then I think I'm gonna lay some traps, and then I need to show y'all where these traps are, so <laughs> that you don't set them. Yeah. Can you make us like a map or something? Fine. Ah. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, there's usually just kind of like telltale signs that, that hunters leave other hunters, so I'll show you some of those. All right, okay, I can learn, I can learn, yeah, all right. Um, I'm going to get the lid to one of the, whatever crate we emptied first, and I'm going to get onto a rowboat with Jax and take the body, and the idea is I'm going to row out for about 30 minutes until we're in, like, the non-island current. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. and put him on the, the thing of wood and just push him out to sea and then row back to the island. Okay. It's going to take you uh, some time to do that. It takes, it would take you maybe 25, 30 minutes to get back to that like peninsula area to get the boat, to get the, yeah. to like yeah. go out. I imagine like um, two hours. The whole thing might take a couple of hours to do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I thought as much. What are the rest of you doing? Oh, all right, what do we do now? What do we do? Someone's got to fill in the trench. Oh, that's Jax's spot now. <laughs> Jax can't down. fit in it, so it's like three foot wide. <laughs> look down at the trench and go, um, Elle's made an awful lot of work for himself, hasn't he? <laughs> Yes, I tried to help, but you didn't want to know, but... Um... Piggy dip him! <laughs> Piggy dip him in the piggy pot! Um... See, see, I... I believe... Um... We are... Woefully, woefully out of our depth. In oh. every single possible way. I'm honestly shocked we're still alive. Um, yeah. I, 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 um, I'm going to go and swim round because it's just occurred to me Elle's on his own in waters that were just filled with a bunch of sardine and he, he's all on his own out That's there. The and I suddenly feel really... I just think, you know, there was like like 10 of them or something. What if like loads more came out? I'm just going to be there just in case. And he like runs into the surf and starts swimming away. Okay, bye, Shay. Oh, God. Bye. Woefully <laughs> underqualified. Um, look, yeah. Cece, I, um, I have so many, so many thoughts running through my head. Uh, okay. And so, 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 so little time. Um we've actually got quite a lot of time we've got like months yet on this island single tear rolls down <laughs> uh, he sort of wipes it away and says thank you ever so much um listen this might sound strange all right i've been having dreams okay I feel like these dreams actually mean something. <gasps> okay. and 
I don't know what. Oh, right, we gotta write them down. Have you got a dream journal? Well, obviously I have a dream journal. Okay, <laughs> do you mind if I read it? You know, sometimes uh, I get other people, some of my girlfriends, like, will look through my dream journal and, like, pick things apart, yeah. I mean, I, I, would you do that Just for me? Does have a yeah. dream book club? <laughs> you... You did tell them some of your dreams because you told them about the black mask. Yeah. Oh, did I actually? Oh, I'm so sorry. And um, I, I think you told, you haven't told them about the book stuff, but you did tell them, and I can't remember if you told them about the thing, but you did tell them about the mask for sure. Cool. Okay. Cool. Um, I, yes. I sort of as as I start walking and I'm walking up towards the lighthouse, which is where I've spent most of my time and a lot of my kind of musing time um i i start to sort of explain the uh the the the, the dreams that i have had again um and specifically uh, as we're walking up um i sort of stop for a second and say um again and you are taking all of this incredibly well thank you so much cc i think there's a man that lives in the lighthouse <laughs> I think there's a man. <laughs> there's a man? There's a man <laughs> who lives in the middle of the lighthouse uh, where the light lives and <laughs> Okay, okay. A South, a South Wigan tried to pull me off the tower. Um When? And, when what? Oh, in a dream? Yes, I think. Okay. I hope. Um and the man came out and ho held me. Um, Are you feeling lonely, maybe? I am. <laughs> Same, I get it. Same, I get it. I do. Okay. So lonely, but I don't think I want the man from inside the lighthouse. Um, I you think... don't want the lighthouse man? Uh, well, no, he lives inside of... Uh, uh, like, he, he, he's a magic, magic man that lives in a lighthouse. I Magic? <laughs> I would assume so. He lives inside a lighthouse. <laughs> kind of so are you, though, a magic man that lives in the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cece makes that exact point. Uh, well, you're kind of a magic man in a lighthouse now. Listen, listen, listen. And okay. I, I explained to you okay. the, the, the dream that I had of um, uh, watching myself um, as as my kind of um, sunbird version of myself, watching myself on the, uh, on the lighthouse, um, watching... Uh, these scaly uh, fish-like claws grip uh, me from over the side of the lighthouse, trying to pull me off. Uh, <laughs> that one was for you, Wayne. Um, and, <laughs> and, um, and like, and seeing these sort of hands um, made of, like with with sort of white, uh, yeah, white and grey. Oh, can can I? Um... Can I just for funsies while you're explaining? Can can I get a history check from you, um, uh, Maverick? Yeah, this is when this is when you know that I've got something wrong. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. just roll a history check on that, please. That's what I'm, saying. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue woefully misinterpreting uh, wow. interpreting your dreams. I got an eleven. Did you modify it, like? Seven? Can I assist in some way by like repeating, repeating it back to him? So do you have proficiency in history? I do actually. Fuck you, oh, idiot! Right? You know what? I'll uh, and because you have, or you also have proficiency in persuasion. I feel like the combination of the two of being like a sounding board because it was a it was a little while ago that you had it. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll allow it. You 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 give him the help action. You can roll again, Maverick. Yeah. Come on. It's hoping. Thank you ever so much. I'm oh, uh, that was a twenty three. Okay. There was something uh, you didn't get anything wrong. You got everything right. But uh, there's a little detail, which was that the 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 Saugeen that was pulling at you was saying something over and over and over again, and you don't understand Saugeen, but you you parrot it to uh, um, to you, and because you ha still have comprehend languages on, you're like, yeah, um, 
uh, the second of the sacrifices is what it was saying. The, the second of the sacrifices. Second of the the sacrifices. Second of the sacrifices. Um, and uh, uh, that's the little detail that you kind of get that you solve because. Um, I sort of stop and kind of go. The second of the sac. Yeah, and but it kind of like the meaning of it again. Saugeen is not a very elegant language, and tenses are, are not that great. A lot of words mean similar things, but it's kind of like, uh, like your number two. <laughs> but didn't didn't CC have something when I was fighting the priestess? The priestess was like, um, "You're the first, the right?" Fir- I can't remember if it was the first or the third. The first. I think it was the first, the first of three sacrifices, or something like that. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, say that like, oh well, not in a dream, but in real life, uh, that Saugeen said that to me. <laughs> Great. So, so that means that we're me, myself, you, and L, presumably, unless they're talking about Jax, um, are the three sacrifices that they're trying to get. <laughs> That's fucking great. That's fucking brilliant. Um, okay. Okay. I. Okay. I, can, can, can we leave again, please? <laughs> so we just, so just get our boat and go. No, right, Matt, we can't leave, okay? Uh, look, the dream, the dream, you said. It might be like a sign or something, right? It may just be something that's gonna happen, but in your dream, like, you got saved, right? The magic lighthouse man saved you. Yes. Okay. So whether it's gonna happen literally, which I doubt, that sounds crazy, or if it's like, um, I'm just popping to the loo quickly. Continue chatting. Go, go, go. It's a maybe. It's like a sign of um, they're coming it. after you, but the this man in the lighthouse will save you. Therefore, we need to find him. Well, I... does <laughs> this is Tom. Uh, going, I don't... Okay, look. It's not a coincidence that... What the fuck is that? Um, it's not a coincidence that um, these two Sahuhin have said this. It's whether it's whether this is uh, going to happen, should have happened, or would have ha- happened had we not done something else. Um, now we know... That, you know, I just thought it was a bit weird and, you know, but now they must, they must be planning on sacrificing us to their Shadow Lord, right? That must be their plan. They keep attacking us. They keep coming after us. They're not coming for their, like, island, are they? So... But what what are we... uh, Besides being incredibly good-looking and very, very talented, all three of us, what do they want with us? Oh, that's a good question. I just assumed, like, we're very, like, sacrificable, like, in a good way. What know? a compliment, guys. Put yeah. that in your notebook to say to somebody, you are hot enough to be sacrificed. Yeah. What a pickup uh, line. Oh, I'd like to sacrifice your virgin <laughs> um, <laughs> virginal body to the... To the... To the, to the shrine of some. Um, look, um, um, I'd carry you to the top of a ziggurat, nude on my shoulders. I'd let King Kong squeeze your innards out. Um, <laughs> oh no, now I've gone blurry. Um, right. <clears throat> so, what do you think we do with this information? We should definitely let El know. I'm definitely glad Shay's gone with him. But do we have a do we have a snoop around the lighthouse? You know, maybe there's just like a door somewhere we've missed. 
I, I, well, I, th I have been working on, um, this brings me to my second point, uh, after the mild hyperventilation, he's kind of starting to come back from himself breathe, and says, breathe, breathe, breathe. Um, this brings me to my second point. Um, yes. The lighthouse is still technically not fixed. Uh, now, I, I think in the, um, in, the, in the time that we've been working here, I have found the wherewithal to uh, fix uh, the, the, what is uh, meant to be fixed. However, I don't have the, um, the, the uh, arcane prowess myself, only myself, to uh, fully fix this thing. I right. wondered whether you could help me in fixing the the room that was that was scratched. Um, uh, yeah, I uh, I don't think I have enough to help you today. That's absolutely fine. We can do it tomorrow. That's not I can, a problem. I just... Right, I can absolutely do that. Um, the other thing, um, if we're you know helping each other out and stuff, the thing you did. <coughs> oh my my throat. Um, the thing you did with the pearls I've got, is there any way you can do that again on more so I can get more, like, I'm really worried, like, someone needs our help, or my help at the very least, I feel like all of us. Um, Ooh, that's not my, my problem right now, though. No, I'm joking, <laughs> I'm totally, that's, that's absolutely something I can do, yes, let's, let's get to the lighthouse. Let's let's have 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 a little look for secret secret. Yeah, let's look. Let's go to light. Well, we're at the lighthouse now, ma'am. But we'll snoop around. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> just just smack something. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> let's have a quick look around, right? And then I'll you know one whoever's turn. I can't remember. Someone's got to stay in the lighthouse, and then we'll get someone will head back and make sure Elle's okay, right? Okay. 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 Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Um, and uh, I think we just start looking around the lighthouse. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a quick cut to, to yeah. Elle while, while you do that. Um, um, Elle, you, you've like, by the time you've like slogged it all the way around, carry, I mean, it's, it's fucking wild that you're all on your own with this corpse, just like carrying it all the way up the mountain, down to the peninsula, putting it in the rowboat, rowing out into the thing. And so just as you get to a point where you would throw it overboard, uh, Shay pops up at the side of the boat and like pulls himself in and goes, I thought I'd like uh, help. Um, also, like they're all still down there. They're just deciding not to come up. So I thought you might need like some help. Um, I can see them down there. They're like looking up here, but they're not coming up for the time being. So. They're quite scary because there's lots of them and they're just like, I mean, that's that's pretty normal. Now, whenever you see whenever you see water, you don't want it to be too clean, because otherwise there's no fish. But if you see water that ain't perfectly crystal clear, there's definitely something hiding underneath it. And he's just, just sorry, throwing you're telling me about water now. No, I just sort of like like I'm just sort of espousing my my thoughts and kind of like repeating things that have been said to me and you know okay. conversation that is some good <laughs> that's some good wisdom you know uh it's not you know it's not terribly wisdom that you don't want wash it it's too clean uh you want it to be kind of murky i guess um sh shall i help you are we just hoofing him over with uh do you want the, was, was, were we supposed to put the plaque on or back off i or? think i'm i'm gonna be honest i think maybe the plaque's a bit much it feels mean but i'm gonna i'm gonna put out this plank of wood here and see and put him on so he can kind of be um be taken out by the tide so when he comes to we can he can release himself from bondage and then kind of find his own way home from the sea okay um you know, I'm just gonna kind of say it because sometimes, you know, this isn't this isn't a fair thing for me to say because you know I, you are not a representative of all the people that walk on the land. But just sometimes, you know, it's just a good thing to sort of bear in mind. Sometimes people just hoof things into the sea like it's like it's the bin, and it's and and you know, there, people live in the sea, and you know, so what you're essentially doing is taking a dangerous person and you just go in. Put them in there. I'm just, I'm just saying this. I'm not, there's, there's um, no. I mean, I, I completely there. appreciate. Hey, 
I've got big ears and they're for listening. Now, I just I will just say though, I'm putting a water dwelling creature back into the sea. Now I appreciate you saying this is a dangerous person, but I ain't in the business of, of putting anyone down. Okay. So you you'll never you've never that when we were fighting before you didn't you, you didn't kill anybody. I mean, I was under and we were under attack at the time. Like, but right now. Okay. It's good to know like what your um standpoint is on all of that. Um Should we um is this a good spot? I mean, I don't want to tell you about water. Um <laughs> pull the shit in. Um you stopped rowing? Yeah. Um, Shay pushes Ally into the sea and gets killed. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Elle died in a terrible accident. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a splash and um, and he goes, well, um, should we just, uh, are we, we're going to just throw this as well or are we going to keep the plaque? I mean, I don't imagine this fella's going to wear it all the way home and it just kind of feels like littering to me. Yeah, no, he's gone. Yeah, okay, let's do, let's keep, let's keep this then. Um, uh, they were still just talking kind of when I left, so I don't know where they've gone to. Um, so I guess we just sort of make our way back. Yeah, I got, I got, I got to set some traps afterwards and then I got to show oh. them where the traps are so they don't set off the traps. Do you want me to do some that's like in the water uh, or like on the edge of where the beach kind of... So do you have specific underwater traps that you set? Like, not like... It's more like um, rearranging the fire coral. You know, you've got a little kind of reef here, and yeah, I can pluck yeah. out. I can just like, uh, you know, it doesn't kill the fire coral. You just, you, you just check, swap the place so that it's easy to step on, and then it really hurts the fire coral. It really, really hurts. Right. So I'm um, with um, I mean, I tell you what, I'd appreciate that a whole bunch. Okay. Sorry, uh, sometimes when you're, you're like, intonation sounds like there's going to be a but after, so I was just waiting, like, um, <laughs> like, I didn't know. That's cool. Okay, I'll I do think, that. And I, it, think, and he... I think maybe you've done a little bit too much book reading about land folk and maybe not enough, enough living it. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm doing now. I'm just learning and soaking up the world. Uh, and he's sort of sitting on the edge of the on the edge of the boat. He sort of like leans back like a scuba diver and just <laughs> into the water. I'm out. Uh, and swims away. And so you're going to go back now, L, and to the. Uh, I'm actually going to. Everyone's had a very big day, and I imagine everyone's very tired. So I'm going to fish a little on the way back, mm -hmm. and then. My, my plan is to bring up food and then basically set traps in the four hours that I don't need to sleep. Um, okay, can you please roll survival for the fishing? I fucking will. There are creatures down below that want to kill you. Could you also just, uh, just for, for my sake, just make a constitution check uh, to... Um, untense myself from that incredibly <laughs> passive aggressive conversation. <laughs> Just it, there was so, it's 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 a nautical campaign. There were several undercurrents there. Um, See, here's ooh. the thing: that wasn't L being passive aggressive. It's, that's L being genuine, and this is a very real thing that I I butt heads with in life. Is people go, and I go, what? Sorry. So, they assume there's like layers of the shit underneath the thing. I'm very, if I said a thing, I mean a thing. Like it's undercurrents. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, what's that survival? That's a natural uh, 20, Lydia. Uh, Lydia, do you need me to read you out the um, harvest of water feature from the fisherman background? Oh, you can read it for sure. Um, I can maintain a moderate lifestyle and I can a, a, a get enough food to feed myself and up to 10 other people. 
Okay. Regardless of that, you catch one fish that is sort of this big. Uh, and you, because of that natural 20 and because of your feature, you are extremely sure that the waters are extremely barren of, of aquatic life now. You only got that one fish by rowing like way out into waters that you feel un that like the boat didn't feel great in because it was too deep and you're only in a little rowboat. Um, the the yeah, it's like to you with your very special features. It's like somebody realizing that the birds aren't singing. There are no birds in the trees. Um, or or even like not dissimilar to that moment in a movie where you see rats running towards you and then you realize that the rats are actually running from something worse. I'll pop a pin in that and pop a pin in that and go back to the lighthouse. Uh, what the fuck was that noise? <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I, I mean, I'm they fine. must... There must be a uh, a door or a hatch. Uh, I mean, right. he must have come come out at some point, stretch his legs, um, feel the grass beneath his feet. Um, he's just pressing randomly on the wall, like like she's like thinking a lot, and then going, aha, and then like just pressing a random spot, <laughs> and then like no. I love I love the fact that. Uh, Mav has given you that much confidence uh, from his writing, but <laughs> that's all you need to do. Is like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what that's what the detectives do in all of Mav's books. Between <laughs> between all the fucking. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna be sort of like patting walls. I'm gonna be lifting the carpet if there's carpet. Um, I'm gonna be sort carpet. of like. I don't know. Okay, uh, you're doing it all around the outside, and um, are you going up to the lamp room? Oh, I imagined we were at the lamp room. Oh, you're yeah. up at the lamp room. Yeah. Okay, roll me, roll me investigation, the two of you. One each, please. Can I not just help Mav? Do you have investigation proficiency? Oh, I do not. I do not. I'm just going to roll it. Out of so, guys. So the, you can only give the chat. help action yeah. if you are proficient in it. Yeah. Those in the chat, that's a rule we play with, which is you can only give the help action if you're proficient to skill and also if it's a thing you could physically do. Like, you I just think the help action. action is so great, but it has to make sense in my head. And somebody who hasn't got a virgin clue um, can actually make things worse. Yeah. Um, seven. Oh, I, uh, natural seven. No, natural three, so it's ten. Good lord, you two. Um... <sighs> You, with a, ten, a seven, you get nothing. Um, as well as the fact that I think CC maybe I, you know, maybe this is derogatory to poor CC, but I feel like you spent time at the lighthouse. Um, but you, but this is maybe the first time you've really looked closely at the runes that are carved into the stone, and you get a bit distracted by that. Yeah. And um, but Mav. It makes sense because whilst you're not really sure what you're looking for, you did have the dream. Mm -hmm. So you stand in the exact spot that that you the bird that you sort of saw yourself, and you look down to where the sour bean kind of grabbed you, and then you turn around, and the lamp stone that is so bright, it isn't actually laying on like on the concrete there's a gap it's actually hovering above the stone and you kind of try and angle yourself so that you can kind of look like under the stone and into where there's a gap and there is um like it's it's that the the light <laughs> the so at the top, at no, the top, no. at the top, at the top of We're the shaft, this bit. No. at the top of the shaft, Tom, there's like a no. ridge that leads no. to like a, like a, a slightly more like bulbous. Good lord. 
unless it's a Jewish lighthouse, in which case the, the lighthouse is rough lighthouse. stone. It's got a, it's got a the, the the thing at the top, and then there's a lamp stone in the in the uh, you've got the lamp room. Yeah. <laughs> with the with the with the lamp stone in it, and you're looking down, and it's it's like hollowed out, not completely. Okay. It's not like inhabitable, but you see this this tube that goes down uh, the middle, and to you it's just blackness, down, 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 blackness, down, down. Uh, Cece, come, come over here, look, look. I, I thought this was just, I mean, this is obviously where he lives, but it doesn't look massively huge. Um, where, I mean, where do you think it goes? Magic lighthouse man. Uh, oh. Hello. Lighthouse man, 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 man. Um, can I get a um? Persuasion. Uh, Cece, you're you're calling down. Mav, are you calling down as well? Yeah, I'll, I'll call down. I'll help. Can I get a performance? <laughs> I'll help Cece call down. Um. Uh, not from CC, but from Mav. Can I get a performance check? Just to see how loud you're doing it. How well. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> There's going to be no house left. There's like a layer action there happening. What'd it's you get, Tom? Just the sound value. Seven. Okay. Nothing happens. You just hear the echo. I can't assist. assist uh, no. Mav. That's extra special. You can, you can put you can put your hands around Mav's mouth. <laughs> um, can you imagine talking and someone just ghosts you like from behind? Like, oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> oh. Um, there's no handholds. There's no rope ladder. There's no steps. There's no nothing. It is just a like one meter round. No, maybe more. Two meter round tunnel going directly down. But can you like? Would would I be able to like? pop something in what are you popping in like just <laughs> cc look away look away now <laughs> mav's 150 meter cock gets unfurled at this point <laughs> okay question the, the whole time it's unfurling he just screams <laughs> i believe you mentioned that the lampstone uh like has like a humming vibrate to it right um in an arcane sense, yes. My question was: Has Mav touched his penis against it? No, oh, God. No, I would. No, I couldn't possibly yet. answer that. That's a, not, that's a secret for Mav to keep. Not yet. Um, Why did think... you like, um, like write a note and throw it down? Yes. I... What do, what do what do lighthouse men like? Could I make him a sandwich? Oh, maybe. Or uh, don't don't know what he what. The what best part of that was that wasn't Mab suggesting that he makes a sandwich. <laughs> that was Mab suggesting that you make a sandwich from Mab thinking for the lighthouse man. <laughs> Looks expectantly blinking. That was. At you. <laughs> what the lighthouse men like? Full stop. Make them a sandwich. <laughs> Full stop. Um. Why don't you like write? You should write them like a little poem or something. Oh. Yes, maybe. Um, and I sit down and get get my book out and uh, write. Um... Um, you take a little bit of time to write. Uh, what, um... There was a young man in a lighthouse. <laughs> see, what are you doing? Great what... start. You have absolutely fucked yourself with the word lighthouse. <laughs> well, um, Cece, what are you doing while he's writing a poem? Um, I am going to. Say it looks like you could get through. Uh, with you, all due respect, I don't think Cece could with all of her. You, uh, curves. you could, you no. could get, you could like, you know that. But the problem, the problem is less whether you could squeeze, uh, squeeze through, and more like how, what you would do then. Oh, because it, it's just a sheer drop. Yeah. So, so Cece has the ability to fly. Or she has a spell. She has a spell fly. And I was like, 
it, it only, it'll only last 10 minutes, but uh, Joltish gave me this like really cool ability where I can like fly around a bit. Um, I'd be done for the day and I can only do it for like 10 minutes. Oh, but what if something scary is down there and it like eats me? Well, well, we, we find ourselves in quite, uh, quite a predicament, don't we? Because normally L would be around here to... Let's wait. I think we should wait. Look, you write your notes, send that down. We'll wait until we're all together, I think. is probably for the... Sorry, Tom, what did Mav say when you said normally L would be around to... Stop well, us. Oh, stop talk us out of it. Yeah, talk, <laughs> us, talk us out yeah, of it. Yeah, you're right. Uh, what would Jack say? Jack would hold me back, but I think you're right. Um, then I think Cece's just gonna I I don't know just kind of look around she may start heading back to the house if like Mav's gonna stay here and do that and do like a hey you right you've got plenty you're gonna do that I should head back and make sure Elle's okay are you okay to What's keep that? watch of the lighthouse I, I yes. mean I, I uh, for this, no, because you haven't really sat still, um, so you haven't, I'm just thinking about short rests and stuff, but... Yeah, we haven't... You haven't really been sitting still and concentrating on resting, so... I think, I think as, um, as you sort of leave, um, uh, Mav has scribbled out the, um, the limerick about five times, and just at the bottom of the page has written, um... I, are you a mineral? <laughs> no, I uh, like, uh, um, like XOXO. Uh, yeah, are uh, um, uh, are you there? Literally, just are you there? Um, and just kind of folds it slightly and just kind of pops it in the hole. I really wish you'd cast light on that to so you can see how deep the hole was. It's... Don't know what I was expecting there, but that was. <laughs> Flutters into the darkness, and you stand there for several minutes. Nothing. Hello. <laughs> did, you, Hello. did you get my letter? <laughs> Hi, I'm just I'm just calling to see if you've got my text message. I, I'm very sorry, email. I didn't put a return address. <laughs> Um, how long do you wait? I think, uh, to be fair, I think I'm I'm there for. I feel like over the over the time that we've been at the island, uh, we've we've made a small. I have made a small sort of like collection of um, of food and of like blankets and stuff. And a I, I yeah, a little cachet. Pop down, grab a blanket, grab sort of the wherewithal to make uh, like. Um, a hot cocoa, um, except not, it's just leaves and twigs, um, and kind of pop up to the top of the lighthouse and just kind of go back to reading through the manual, seeing if there's anything in that manual that pertains to any of the shit that I've seen. Um, and I what think what I absolutely love about that is that you truly acted out when Cece was like, Can we do this one thing that I want? and you're like, No, well, yeah, but my thing first. And then you never did have this. <laughs> never did my thing. My plan, my plan is to go and make sure Elle's okay and providing he is and we're all good, like do like a cool, let's go have dinner at the lighthouse with Mav. So I will go back and then nice. and then probably be like, so about that thing. <laughs> uh, for the sake of time, I'll say that, um, you know, uh, all of that happens fine. You find L. But you would have done your fishing maybe by then, um, or maybe not, because that would have taken a while. Because you're sort of, though you got a natural twenty, you had to like. Yeah, fish Tom got a ten earlier. <laughs> he found he found the hole. I'm joking. Yeah, but that is Did that's you? something. Did you? He had. I'm joking. You do not need to justify yourself. There are no fish. I can't catch fish to there. Yeah, but you also got the information that yeah. it. Like, yeah. Um, I'm just. You tell me. Did you after that happened? Did you go back to? Oh, 
the homestead. Okay, so a big part of me wants to say yes. However, I feel like Elle would take the fish to the Av Shrine. Ooh. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. I love this because I love, I love, I, I understand why, but Elle's gone, okay, I'm just gonna take the body and I'll come back and lay a bunch of traps. Cece and Mav have gone, or Shay's gone, I'm gonna make sure he's okay because obviously there's still dangerous people out there. Mav's worrying about the hole and Cece's gone, yeah, that's, I should check on Elle. He should be back by now. And Elle's gone, I'm just not gonna go home for a while. So Cece's gonna start to panic yeah, for about, sure. about 350 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I, I just think that's what he would do. I just think that's what my character would do. Yeah, and yeah it's, it's, fine. Like, it's fine. I'm just letting you know, yeah. Cece's gonna panic and then... That, okay, so... That's not how his mind works. It's, it's, it's probably well into the afternoon. Um, you're laying a fish at a shrine. I'm laying it at the um, base of the shrine. I'm not putting it yeah. in the shrine because that would no, be no. disgusting. It's... I mean, the, the shrine is really just like um, a stone, like little, uh, yeah. like a uh, three foot pillar with a bowl, uh, a stone bowl, like engraved in the in Yeah, the it, I know they're like really simple, but I think maybe sometimes people do leave like excess food or something. Mm to like, I don't know, attract um, carnivorous or, or omnivorous animals. Like. Um, so Cece, you walk into the homestead, it's empty. I'm also gonna, is there wooden crab still there? Sorry. No, you picked it up. I did pick it up, yeah, I did pick it up, right. Um, I think, She'll hang around the homestead for a little while, you know, like do, there's probably some like odd jobs that need doing. So she'll like pop up, like feed pop chickens. around through them, feed, yeah, feed the chickens, that kind of stuff. Um, sort of worrying about um, where L is, but also doing that thing of like, he can take his time. Um, um, and yeah, I think she, ponders her pearls <laughs> a bit just and just <clears throat> I don't know I think if it starts to get dark she will are you taking them out into your hand yeah 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 for sure I think I think she like sits sets herself up like maybe in one of the top rooms where looking out so she can see like an orange blob in the distance um and she'll like be sitting there like holding them and just like hello do you want to apply a skill check to it at all i want to persuade the pearls to talk to me no, um i don't know if arcana would fit can i do like a nature or a history, something that's more like rem trying to remember every interaction she's had with Joltish and like... Uh... I'll tell you what I'll do, um, I'll do a sort of warlock skill. So if we use charisma modifier with proficiency... Thank um, you, you're very kind. I know. Uh, 19. Okay. Now, can you please roll a d20 and tell me what you get? Eight. Eight. Your fucking glasses on, woman. You look at, you're turning this one particular pearl over that you've picked out um, because of course I, I, I imagine that you've kept you like you know the two that were used in the identify spell and you yeah, pick yeah. this one up and you're like turning it over and looking at it and you hear this voice flood into your head I saw something looking at me through the darkness Cecilia they do not attack but 
Right. I can't say your name. That. I. That feels like joltish to me. Can I? Is there any kind of check I can do that's like? That's that super. That super felt whistle Tony to me. <gasps> Elska. Who's whistle Tony? Um, roll, uh, uh, perception or insight. My new bard is going to be called Whistle Tony, and he's just got a slide whistle. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a Nicky bard. <laughs> yeah. um, right, I'm going to roll a different bard. Hey, I'll whistle Tony. <laughs> 17. It's Jonfish. Oh, okay. It's Joltish. Oh god, everyone thought made me feel like I was going crazy because I was like, it's Joltish, and everyone's like, nah. Who's everyone? You and Tom. I, I <laughs> said no such shit. Um, I still started looking at me from the darkness, Cecilia. They what was it? They look they, they do not attack. attack, but they just stare and stare. Um and then Then getting that and knowing it's jolted, she's gonna just concentrate really hard on it and try and concentrate to talk to Joltish. Like she's gonna be both speaking out loud and like in her mind. She doesn't really understand how this stuff works, but she's just like, um, I don't, I don't know what to do to help you. Um, if I think. The people looking at you might be the Sargreen. Have they captured you? Um, roll Arcana. Oh, no. <gasps> I rolled an 18 on the dice, a so 17. Um, not bad. You... You don't know much. You don't know much. But what you do know is that, um... There is something different about the pearls once you, you can quite easily tell the ones that you've heard the message. And you kind of, you get an understanding from them that, that it's a one way thing. And then you hear the message and then they're like duds. Well, yeah. they're not duds, they're fucking pearls. But like, um, uh, they've, they've magically done the thing that they were meant to do. You've got fucking voicemails, love. Oh my god, he's left me so many <laughs> voicemails. You just look at this pile and you're like, dude, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> you get to you get to like the fourth or fifth and he's good. I don't look, I, I don't even care that you're not answering my messages anymore. Like I'm so over you. Like I can't even I, believe I think upon that realization, Cece's concern, no offense, of, like she still is still like worried in the back of her mind, but this is more immediate. Um, and she's going to sit there and go through every single one. Okay, so w here's the thing. You can sack off Mav and dinner and all of that and sit in your room. Um, I'll let you do five more because it takes some time to like concentrate okay. on them um, just because of, because it's 20 past 10. Yeah, yeah, um, yes, so five ro D20 rolls because you'll be picking pearls at random. I I'm assuming you didn't like you know, put them places so that you knew what order they came in. No. Whilst you do that, I'm, I, I, I've needed to pee for such a long time. I'll be back. Go, go, go. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to have another D20. Okay. Here we go. Five D20. Okay. Have a three. Okay, the fat one goes. Healing is very boring for Celia. I long to see you again. I can barely move. Right. Healing's very boring. Okay. What I'd like you to do when you write them down is write is remember this was number three. Yeah. The one before was number eight. Last one was number eight. Yeah. Um, I am writing them down. Uh, if I roll two of the same, shall I re-roll? Yeah. Uh, I got a. Is that a six or a nine? Nine. Okay. One of them came towards me, Cecilia. 
I can barely move, but I was able to flash some of my homeland aura, which filled them with despair and fear. I don't know how long they will stay away for. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I have a 15 and a 16. Okay. Fifteen. If I could just muster some power, I could send them to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, okay. That's very good. Um, at 16? Yeah. You have left me to die, Cecilia. <laughs> I will leave this as my final words. I do not regret giving you my power. I hope you are happy. Oh my god! Intense, bro. We met like a week ago. Oh Fuck. my god. Oh my okay, god. what have we done? We've done three? I've no, done four. Yeah, the last one, one, last one was a natural 20. Oof. Please. This is it. They tear at my skin and pull at me like the last toy in a shop. They mean to skin me, I think, Cecilia. Please, please do not forsake me. Michelle, I would like to uh, officially apologise for. Uh... <laughs> what if, Jean, oh, what if Jean Fitch is the third sacrifice and El just no, <laughs> just not Do you remember... at all. Right, just just to another little recap. I know it's been a, it's late. Um, so back when I first got the help me help me, I CC when Jean Fitch is in trouble. Jean is in trouble. We need to do something. And, you know, Elle was like, don't worry about it, it's fine. And I think Mel's like, it's not necessarily, look, I think it might be his other stuff. And, you know, I went, okay, I'd really love to do something, but this is a group thing. Okay. So I'll leave it. Okay. And, and, so hypothetically, and, in that moment, where's John Fitch? Um, well, the, the dream that Mav had of someone pulling black, Skin over their face to make a mask. That's John Tish's skin. Could be. <laughs> we will end the session there. Lydia, pick this up next week. <laughs> but I will say this, just from like the DM perspective, Cece has been, and it's no, I'm not disrespecting her at all. But there have been so many times in this campaign where CC has had the right idea and has been really easily had her head turned by the boys, essentially. And uh, that isn't, that's not, that's it's, just that's interesting. Fair. It's just interesting for the character because even like in this session, you, you start to get Shay involved and you were like, oh, I really think I need to do something. I think there's something wrong. And Shay was really interested. And then you, and then you like, we, someone said something and you went, you're right, don't worry about it. Forget it, forget it. Like you was, you, Cece is as a character, very, very quickly goes, don't worry about my stuff. You do your stuff. Like, it's just such an interesting, sorry. I know we shouldn't talk about this right now, but like- Hey, the patriarchy in action. <laughs> character wise, it's really appropriate for CC. Yeah. You've you've instinctively done it, and it has fucking broken my heart. E nearly every single session, CC has done something like that, and my heart has broken every single fucking time. <sighs> we'll talk about this more on the short reds. Wait, no, that's no, not our thing. No, we won't. Uh, <laughs> um, thanks, thanks for coming, guys. Um, I hope that was um, good. Um, again. We, we've got um, Dragon Age tomorrow. We'll come back to this next week. Um, and... We're back, baby. We're back, baby. Well, you, you, were nearly gonna say, you were gonna nearly say something long term -y then, weren't you, Lydia? I'll have no, 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 Thank you all so much for coming. Thank you very much. Love you uh, to so the much. Summer of the Heroes, guys. 
for for being in chat. Lovely to have you. Check them out. That's all the heroes. And yes. thank you very much to the mods. There's already a CC pondering her pearl meme in the Discord, by the way. Rooney works incredibly fast. Oh my God. Do go, do honestly go check out some other heroes. They are, apart from anything else, they're fucking fantastic people. Next, um, next Sunday. Tuesday, next Tuesday. Uh, we'll be on the Witchlight the 18th, and then on the 24th, Something. I want to say, yeah. the Sunday, yeah. 3 p.m., they'll be back with um, this person. With me, I'll be joining them again with my lovely skier. Um, uh, and go give them a follow because they're amazing. Yeah, Same with Dice and the Slice. We've already shouted about Dice and the Slice, but they are also incredible. This also, hey, fuck it. Um, because uh, 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 because Rooney is um, so fucking awesome and is one of our mods and everything, we're sh going to shout out her thing as well. Starfall, Starfall Podcast is an incredible podcast. Um, it's um, audio drama at its finest. Um, and I can say that uh, because I'm in it. Uh, <laughs> um, it is an incredible sort of fantasy uh, uh, sort of uh, world uh, where... Um, a, a mysterious uh, young person has uh, joined a uh, fantasy sort of acting troupe um, and hijinks ensue. Really, really good. Check Hi it out. Jinx. Um Thanks to Joshi from Dice and Slides for resubscribing. Thanks to Rooney Rooney for resubscribing. 19 months. Woo! Christ, it's nearly two years. Um, and for Ben UK, thank you very much for following and joining us. I hope you had a great time. Um, Rock. And we have a Discord if this is something that you would like to engage in more. They're already in it. Oh, Excellent. lovely. Everyone's already in. Wonderful, guys. Well, have a nice night. Join us tomorrow, Moon Media tomorrow, 3 p.m. Dragon Age for some chill time. <laughs> Romance in the end. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye.